make some new memories with the medium and see what we think of this. I don't know how long this is. I'm going to guess it would maybe be like a two stream game if we want to continue with it, but we shall uh, see how it goes. It all starts with a dead girl. Okay. Oh, bloody hell, that's some violent vibrations. <laughs> my controller just lost its mind in my hand. I'm pretty sure I have them set to low as well. I can't imagine how much it would be vibrating. Had around five or so hours. Oh, cool. Maybe we'll, if we get into it, we might get it done then. My grandma's house when I hear old school kettles. Ever since I was little, I've had this dream. It's the end of summer. The girl is running through the woods. Who's this voice uh, actor? Familiar. The scent of pines. And then the gunshot. What you drink in there? You got some marshmallow root. It always felt so real. The blood on my cheek, the cold sweat running down my skin. I'd managed to convince myself it really happened. This scar of a memory. A part of me I could never fully understand. Uh, well, that wasn't the only part. I don't see characters smoke no very often people anymore. used to think I was strange. If they only knew. That's how that I feel day, sometimes. The phone rang. It was the hardest day of my life. The day I went home to say goodbye to my father. Where is this in the world? Looks nice. Dress him up for his last journey. Put him in a suit, fix his tie. Simple. Just the things he did every day. But looking through his stuff wasn't easy. I needed a moment to pull myself together. Excuse me. Is this is gonna be daddy issues game again. Story games love the daddy issues, don't they? And we do too. I was Strap almost in. Ready. Let me move this to the other fader so I can control the volume, which I had already done, but it has not remembered it. Sound settings, which was also very. Uh, Tell me why, wasn't it? Daddy issues the game. Here we go. Game? Did that work? It didn't work. Why did you work earlier and you're not working now? I swear I made it go on to my other fader. Hang on. System. Yeah, okay. Then switch it. Switcheroo. Game. Nothing. Okay, well, I'll turn it down in here then. Well then. I just had to find his special tie clip. See how that is. Yeah, God, it's been so long since I played a game with this kind of uh, camera. You know, Resident Evil, old Resident Evil style. Alone in the dark style. That 
kind of thing. Oh, it's going to say Xbox buttons, and I'm using a PlayStation controller. Groovy. 1999. What a year. Uh, memorial, funeral, ultrasound, Our Lady of the Rosary, biopsy, send a package to Marianne, neurologist visit, funeral, ultrasound, neurosurgeon visit, mm, funeral, pick up Marianne from train station. So many funerals. Like three, fun four funerals. But she, if she's a medium, do you think she goes to the funerals and she's like, do you want to speak to them? Got some money, huh? Got some money. Surgery is the last thing there in November. Mm hmm Oh, wait. Maybe that... Wait, is this her dad's... Diary? Sorry, I thought it was hers for a second. Okay. X is square. Oh. Shit. Meow meows. Yeah. Nice to see you, too. Go say hello to the cat. Jack's room. It's like he never... Damn it. No Jack was a humble, religious No option man. to pet the cat, how dare he you? He ran a funeral home, and oh. I'd help out whenever I could. That's why there's so many funerals, It felt good then. to be useful. Cat I used to think I'd never fit in, but Jack, he didn't mind my weirdness. <laughs> was Jack Jeff he Bezos? Kept telling me I was special. What else we got on here? Anything? None. Keep hissing at me. Who do you think's gonna feed you now? Jack was part of the Solidarity Movement. He spent a few months in an internment camp, but even that couldn't dampen his spirit. Solidarity movement, what's that? What are these medals? Um, but um, what do we think of the outfit? What's the fashion? Walking oh, we're on the catwalk here. One out of one to ten? What do we think? What are the boots like? Just pretty basic. I like the jacket though. Isn't this kind of like a pilot's jacket actually? Is that what they would call this? Oh look, and we're rocking one glove on our left hand. I wonder what the significance of that's gonna be. Definitely something. Uh, right. The tie clip. Pull yourself together, Marianne. Interesting. Mm -hmm. Eat the cat. Funeral home key. <laughs> Where's the cat Looks food? There it is. Nourishing. Koki la Koki. Oh, the Koki La Koki. Pop it in there, shall we? Here you go. What's your face? Glad to see you're still kicking around. Ah, oh, Kato. Fill its water bowl. What's the matter with you? Hydrate. Symbolic funeral of this Siet Samain. Good morning, Krakow. So, wait, Krakow, Poland? Isn't Krakow in Poland? I can't believe it's all still Which is, here. uh, they're a Polish company, aren't they, Bluba? Uh, Jack. Isn't, um, CD Projekt Red, uh, Polish as well? Or something? How to develop photos. Illuminate photo for five seconds. Dip in multigrade for three seconds. Dip in stop for three seconds. Dip in fixer for three seconds. I guess I forgot about this one. Photo paper. I can do it now. Okay. Illuminate for five seconds. Uh-huh. 
put puppet here and see what's on this picture, shall we? One, two, three, four, five. And then, I mean, does it go in order? Is this the multigrade? Can I examine it so it tells me? It doesn't tell me. One, two, three. It's coming out. One, two, three. Jack. One, two. <gasps> Too soon. Two. Oh. He needs to stay in longer. All right. Two, three. That was the last photo I took of you, Jack. Shit. <laughs> Reviewing your own work. Nice. So this is her. This is her dad, though, right? She says Jack instead of Dad. Um, let's find that tie. I feel like wouldn't the bed is the bedroom this? Oh, it's the bathroom. Let's find the bedroom. Mm-hmm. Adopted, maybe. Is this her? I see some creepy Weird toys. To back in my old room. Yeah. So many memories. Huge room. Spoiled. I used to get a lot of these. To me, they were like trophies. Badges yeah. of honor for doing the right thing. Dear Mr. Orca. Jack wasn't too amused, but he did his best to cover for me. I kind of feel bad for making him go through all that. <laughs> you done? Okay. Dear Mr. Orca, we must request you to attend the next parent-teacher meeting as we would like to discuss with you the situation that took place last Thursday. To recap, Marianne gave one of the students a mess. I thought I said massage. She's been giving the children massages. A message from a recently deceased grandmother. We understand it was Marianne's way of consoling her fellow student, but we're sure you realize this behavior is inappropriate, to say the least. Given that this life is not the first, this is not the first behavioral problem we've informed you about, we believe it's high time for us to talk. Okay. My oldest family heirloom. As a kid, I'd show this to people just to freak them out. I'd usually say something like, pretty sick, huh? I was such a dork. Press sack, huh? ICU admission. Marianne, three years old, second degree burns, covering 35% of total body surface area. Inhalation injury. Early wound coverage, respiratory support. So she got burnt as a kid. I'm sure that'll come into play. Kids from the orphanage. Not all of them had my luck. That's why ah, I kept coming did. back. Adopted. To play. To take care of them. To listen. That was the least I could do. From an orphanage. Yeah. I used to have a thing for them. Don't know why, really. I guess they just used to make me happy. Jack knew it well. That's why there's so many of them here. Butterflies. Envious of people that have more floor space in their bedroom, more than like a couple of feet in the bed, yeah. Pretty rare in Europe. Europe has pretty, like very, very small houses. How slow can I make a walk? Dramatic. Let's see, was there an area that we didn't look? So wait, where's his tie? Where's his bedroom? That other door that it wouldn't let me go in. Jack's tie clip. I need to find it. Oh, okay. Did I go in here? <gasps> da -da -da -da. Tie clip. Tie clip. Photos. 
gorgeous looking uh, environments that we're walking around in. Character model's pretty good, but the environments specifically are pretty nice. I'll be in the bathroom here. No, it won't let me in there. What about in the here? Nothing here. If I was a tie clip, where would I be? <laughs> Have I missed a room? I feel like these are the only... Maybe it's on his desk. I like that it does the little dot, so I don't feel like I have to scan over every last thing. Can't go over here. That's a wall. Did I not do a loop? Ba dum ba dum. That's every room, unless I'm mistaken. Is it in the wash? Uh, am I missing how to do something? Go in there. She just stops now. She doesn't even want to say the tie clip anymore. She just stands there. Oh, like this guy's an idiot. I'm not gonna repeat myself for a third time. I said find the tie clip. I missed something in here. Oh. Come on, Jack. Where'd you put it? <clears throat> okay. Let's do this the other way. Mumpy, mumpy, mumpy. Insight. There we go. Okay, I think that's it. Jack's waiting downstairs. Volume good, you guys can hear goodbye. the dialogue and everything comfortably. Oh, now we go this way. We lived upstairs from Jack's funeral home. It wasn't as weird as it sounds. Besides, if it wasn't for that, I may never have learned to use my powers. Powers. It'd be so cool to be a mutant. Some powers. I hope that you got a good one. Jack taught me to accept my condition. Of all my foster parents, he was the only one who saw it as a gift and not a curse. The last goodbye funeral home. in the prep room. Prepare Jack for his last journey. I mean, being a medium, I guess we're going to actually uh, talk to him, surely. Oh, weird. I don't remember locking it. The key, the key should, should be in the, be office. In the office. A creepy tree. No 
why the uh, music keeps cutting like that. Around here. What do we got? Uh, record of funeral. Adam Novak. Krakow. University student. Car accident. Embalming. Dressing body. Here it is. Reprim key. Nice. A little walk around. What's up, Hug the Wug? Super cinematic, but also going to be a lot of walking around like this. Where I'm like, is there anything in here? Let me just bump against this wall. Anything? There we go. Some lovely uh, camera angles so far, though. Sure, if I'm ready for this, be such a creepy job to have. Hey, Jack. Be a freaky. I if you if you jump scare me, Dad, I'm gonna be mad. Let me go pop his clip on. Huh? I got your special clip. No. Where's your tie? Oh, I gotta find his tie first? Oh, it's right here. Combine. There we go. Snazzy. You wouldn't have it any other way. Pop it on. I didn't expect this to be easy. I guess I didn't know what to expect. What's on the back of the jacket? A sun? When things get personal. A flower? It just burns you from the inside out. There. I guess you're ready. But am I? I can totally pretend it's a retired 47. Giving back to the world, adopting kids. It's a ghost, the man. Sense it's closed. <gasps> Can't use spidey sense then. <sighs> Check upstairs. Yo, why is the dark so scary? Like, the flicking light? Instant anxiety. Ah, the shadow. No thanks. What is that? Listen, I think Peter Pan left his shadow behind again. That's awful. Don't like it. Up we go. Shadow being. One of the shadow people. You see her. Oh, making a mess. What the hell? Hmm. Guess you felt it too, huh? 
Oh, I love this music, though. We're like 10 days away from the new Little Nightmares as well. We're having a right old spooky time on the stream lately. I so many times before. Just when I thought my day couldn't get any worse. Oh, where is that darn notebook? I'm gonna be late. I need to find that. Marianne? Oh, Marianne, are you are you crying, my child? I It's fine, Jack. Now, now you have so cool. to see my notebook, did you, darling? Uh, my memory's a bit fuzzy. So much for aging gracefully. Jack, you should probably get some rest. Forget the notebook. Oh, no, no. I've got so much work, my dear. It's I, okay, I, Jack. No, I, I can't just... What? Let it go. Uh, it's not important. You... you are crying. What's wrong, dear? <gasps> the mask is creepy. Oh, why is it so cold in here? <laughs> Jack. Is that it's okay, Jack. It's okay. My sweet little Marianne. What would I ever do without you? I like how they've done this with the split screen. Don't worry about it. It's time to get some rest. Oh, Marianne. Yeah? No. Oh, I, I, I'm worried about the surgery. When I'm at the hospital, are, are you sure you're going to be all right? Yes, Jack. It's going to be fine. Uh, oh, you, you know, uh, I promised myself once uh, I would never let anything happen to you. Not while I'm around. I'll be fine. I promise. Uh, <laughs> First hug. Huh? Right? So he doesn't even know he's dead, huh? All right, Jack. What's up, lass? Get some rest. Uh, I need no. Yes, yes. Be, be good, Marianne. I love you, my child. Why the mask, though? I wonder. I loved you since the moment you walked into my life. Remember that. Daddy Thursday. Who developed this? This is Bloober Team, who did uh, Layers of Fear and Observer. Most people would give anything to have that opportunity. To say all the things that were left unsaid. But it didn't make things any easier. Oh, I could wow. help a thousand souls cross over, but <gasps> we're a when spirit it came to Jack, it still hurt like hell. I love you too, Daddy. Daddy. She said it after calling him Jack this whole time. I used to think everyone saw the world the way I did. Divided. Torn between two realities. But no. I was the only one. Oh. <laughs> Can't even drink or in so peace. I uh, all right, Liv, have a good class. We're closed. There's another funeral home across town. I can give you the number. At... Marianne. Who is this? You don't know me, Marianne, but I know you. Look, if this is a joke, uh... you'd need to listen to me, Marianne. Okay, I'm hanging up. I know what you are. What? Who is this? My name is Thomas. I need your help. Uh, listen, if that's all you've got, I'm... No, uh, there's more. 
I can give you the answers you've been looking for your whole life. But Big old phone. I need you to trust me. Trust you? I don't even know you. It all starts with a dead girl. What did you say? The Nemo Resort. Find me there. Please. The light. It's almost gone. It's not dark yet, but it's getting there. You're the only one who can stop it. You're my only chance. Hello? Hello? <laughs> Be Shit. like, mm, I'm good. I'm just gonna... That doesn't sound like a invite that I want to follow up with. Sorry, sir. I'm grieving right now. I'm about to get very, very drunk. Do you mind? Can you find somebody else, please? Uh, but yeah, it's Bluebird. It's their first... I'm pretty sure it's their first game doing it with this kind of camera. Observer, which was their game before this, is honestly one of my favorite horror games um, ever. It was, like, so cool. I played through it twice. Fantastic game. Da -da -da. Which I think just got a, like, next-gen upgrade, so who knows? Maybe I'll revisit that at some point. They had a remastered one. Not that it was even that old, but I think they just brought it out for, like, PS5 and stuff. Which had uh, Rutger Hauer as the uh, the voice of the main character that you were. That was, like, one of his last roles. Maybe his last role, actually, before he actually passed on. I love intros like this. So creepy. The birds. Helps really set the scene. Medium. Look at that cool logo with the two worlds. <clears throat> All the coolest characters ride motorbikes. And off I went, on nothing but a hunch. A call from a complete stranger. But I'd learned to trust my instincts, and there was something about this guy, his voice. I felt like I should know him. Either way, he sure seemed to know me. 100%, like if I lived in the countryside, I would get a motorbike. I just would never trust having one, you know, riding around London and Greater London. It would be far too dangerous. But if I lived out in the sticks somewhere, 100% get an old motorbike for popping to the shops on rather than a car or something. Getting a little bits of stuttering here and there, but... The Neva Workers Resort. Right off the bat, I could feel there was something off about that place. It's a workers resort. Anyone home? I guess not. What you got? Neva says hello, postcards. Collectible, maybe. Get through the gate. Even worse in the sticks. Road speed limit 60. Seen too many accidents out near your dad's and he lives in the sticks. Yeah, bikes are generally very, very dangerous. I mean, there was a time when, like, I first was learning to drive before I decided that I wasn't going to do it in a car and then later on I wanted to get a motorbike and just everyone was telling me no don't do it it's too dangerous and both of my parents are bike riders but they were like nah don't 
My dad's uh, bike rider, he's had so many accidents. It's always just like cars don't see you and stuff, you know? Uh, what's this? Just a map, nothing else here. Been biking his whole life and he was like, yeah, I don't think so, dude. I was like, okay. Fine. Public transport's dope around here anyway. I like getting trains. I love getting the train. Trains over buses by a million times. Trains are super chill. Trains or Uber. Hate getting the bus. I haven't got a bus for a long time. It's just they're always so full. Front oh, gate key. was locked up tight. I needed to find another way in. Locked up. Do you guys use public transport much where you are? What's your favorite to take? Climb over. Hey, sneaky. You want to keep me out, Neva? A resort. What is this going to be like? A center that. parks or something? Not a whole lot of people knew about Neva. It used to be a government-owned vacation resort. Oh. Until one day it just stopped. And so an urban legend was born. The Neva Massacre. The details were always fuzzy. Crazed workers, ancient curses. You know, the usual. Mm. Would love to not have to drive. Do you have to drive a lot every day? Like trains? Take the train every day? Don't mind trams? Hate buses too? What's up, Grit? Happy Monday. Driving everywhere. Trains, light rail. Only a few cities in the US have decent public transit. Yeah. Like Seattle and... Well, Seattle's like the only one I can think of. No, you like. Oh. <laughs> Imagine the ball. Creepy kid laughing. Turn back now. Turn back now, Marianne. Can I use my power whenever I want? Oh, here we go. Huh. Hello. <laughs> oh no! Creepy little bare feet. Don't follow them. Mm -hmm. I'm guessing she hasn't been like working as a medium then, because we're getting none of her kind of past. We didn't have like a sort of a little bit of an origin of her kind of hiding it, right? Even though it's called the medium, I don't think she's working as a medium. She's probably hidden it. She was so surprised that that guy on the phone knew about her power, right? So you can assume that it's sort of like a hidden thing. She's just been trying to live her life. Did she say what she does as a job? Did she just help out or was she returning home? I love this effect whilst we're using the insight. Follow defeat. What's this? T and K, nineteen sixty eight. A little handprint. Maybe this is the uh, the dead girl that we're following, huh? Yeah, America is so essential, isn't it, to drive? At least you have those nice big open roads, though. I'm guessing most European roads, but certainly London roads and UK roads are an absolute nightmare. Really, really tight. Lots of pulling in and letting people pass. They just stop here.
Another little handprint on that tree. Yeah, she said something to the kid, didn't she, in that letter? Maybe that's when she started hiding it. Maybe Jack was like, Marianne, we need to calm it down. Looks like an old fort. Might be my way in. Follow the steps. Can I? Due to recently unearthed remains, renovation works have been suspended pending archaeological examination. Something happened here. Yeah, I would always rather walk too than public transport if it was a bus. I would like walk for 45 minutes rather than get a bus for five. The split would come and go. If a uh, place hey, had look, a story to tell, well, I guess I was there to listen. How cool. So now I have to look at both. Well, this is an interesting idea. Oh, and then they have, like, different... A, that one says A, that one says X. And I want a PlayStation controller. I don't even know which is which. That's going to get me in trouble. There we go. Hang on. There's something here. Flicks it around. This is going to get confusing. Hopefully there's no quick time events. Circle now. Tried to use my uh, Switch controller, but because this is on the Microsoft Store, it doesn't pick it up. It only picks up the PlayStation the one. The place felt old and soaked in misery. Figures, I guess. A thousand years of history doesn't just happen. It's paid for. But even in the deepest darkness, light can linger. Lonely. Fragile. Waiting for someone to embrace it. Sis. As I absorbed the energy, I wondered who it was that left it behind. A dying soldier whispering the name of his beloved? Or maybe just glad to be done with this world? Look at that creepy background on the right hand side, like all of those sort of people just leading off into the distance like that. That looks nuts. Did I, I'm guessing I absorbed it all. Because I'm now glowing. I totally thought something was going to grab us through that gap behind. It went all quiet. Bust through the wall. The classic. Mm -hmm. Oh, maybe now I can power case, the uh, thing. I like, figured I could use it. With the light. Energy's energy. Mm. Right? Good for you, Marion. Good These for you. powers of mine, as much of a pain in the ass as they were, they did come in handy sometimes. Nice. 
so pretty there I cool was. mechanic. Existing in two worlds, but never really living in either. Yeah, Constantine was fun. I feel like that movie bombed, but it was actually, like, not bad from what I remember. I kind of always like Keanu, though. Caution, fire. Fire, you say? Would you rather have, in a way that you may not rather have either one, but would you rather sort of have like sixth, sixth sense, like the kid powers where it's just like randomly bothered by dead people and ghosts, or in a, like involuntarily seeing people's future, like talking to someone and seeing the future of things, maybe you like see, you know, bad stuff that might happen or like how they might like hurt you in the future or something, like in terms of which one would you rather put up with, I guess, is like a sort of curse gift. Whether it's medium-like powers or future powers. I feel like both would kind of suck, but... I would have to say I'd probably rather see the future just because ghosts would be kind of scary, I think, to be... That feeling like you were never alone. You could never really switch off. You'd be just sitting watching TV and then some ghost would be like, Hello! At least with the future thing, if you're on your own, you're on your own. You could just avoid people. You could just be like, it's too much stress. I will live my life like an island. Mm -mm -mm. Got a little insight bubble around me. Oh, quite a few for ghosts. You would, most of you would rather see the ghosts. <clears throat> Is that because you're thinking like the good that you could do with it or like speaking to people and stuff? I guess you could do good with the future, too, though. You could be like, don't get on that plane, you know? Stuff like that. Probably want to know your future, don't want to? No, just be like, the, it's the people you meet. It's one of these, like, involuntary things that if you're with someone, then you would get flashes, like how she goes, and you would, like, see them. I'd pick the future, though. Uh, what I, I, and side question? What is everyone's um, favorite ghost movie? Movie about ghosts? Maybe Sixth Sense. Ghost is a classic as well. Demi Moore, Patrick Swayze. Oh my love, make some pottery. Yes. Do you want a spooky one or a romance? Whoa. Thanks for the follow. Welcome. <sighs> My favorite thing with Ghost was always him learning to use the powers. Get off my train. Ah, I'm gonna fully go into this world. What the hell are you, Neva? Oh, no, we're not. The aura in that place. I've seen others like it, but never this mm -hmm. intense. It was like a landfill of memories, emotions, and none of them good. Absolutely gorgeous camera angle so far. Gorgeous direction. I hope they keep this up. Casper, the friendly ghost. Ooh, Beetlejuice. Good one. The Frighteners, classic. The others, I don't think I've actually seen, but it's Nicole Kidman, isn't it? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Uh, it's <laughs> cheeky. Oh, ghost phone. Look, it's not there. Oh, it is there. Okay. Oh, this is super creepy. These nuts. These nuts. 
No, it's definitely something. Trust me, you made the right call sending me. Yes, it's only a matter of time. Okay. Um, thank you for the nuts, anonymous cheer. Dropping some nuts. Um, oh, Hill House, yeah, is fantastic. Even the objects here had auras. When I touched them, I could sense their stories. Words, images, feelings left behind. Mm. I forgot I can do a little jog. Which then Bly Manor wasn't as scary, but they went a different... It's a love story, isn't it? Here, pop it. Hello? Anybody in there? Locked. Obviously. There's gotta be another way. Yeah, Doctor Sleep was good. I put that on not expecting it to be very good and I got totally sucked in and really enjoyed it. Which is, um, same director, isn't it? Same guy that did Hill House. Well, I've already proven my prowess as a dumpster climber. Shit, the handle's missing. Maybe I could replace it with some. The hand. Oh, hello, child. Huh? Bix. I want a drink. Uh, little footprints go over here. Where does the little feet go? Yeah, Black Mirror I like. I feel like the older ones, uh, the recent Netflix ones weren't as good, but I still enjoyed them. And Twilight Zone I like. I like the Twilight Zone movie. Channel Zero I haven't heard of. Oh, hang on. Little steppy poos. Am I supposed to follow these, I wonder? Random little steps here and there. Can I read this? Uh, the Neva Resort, 1969 inauguration. The first secretary of the Polish United Workers Party, Comrade Vladislaw Gamolka, honored Krakow and took part in an official inauguration. The new center of socialist joy and recreation. Working class of Lesser Poland finally has a place to spend family time in the bosom of nature. The main building and the lodge area are comfortable yet simple, as simple are the socialistic spirit and philosophy. Special thanks to the architect, future manager, and committed party member, Mr. Rekovitz, without whom the Neva Resort would be impossible to design, construct, and build. Looks like I've got little uh, arrows here with the kids' chalk as well. What's a fine machine like you doing in a place like this? Oh, you say that to all the... Doubling as a oh, spare bedroom, the car. apparently. Uh, a postcard. Hope you don't mind if I, uh, pop your trunk. Listen, this is getting saucy. This is a family stream, excuse me. Talking very saucily to this car right now. Not much here. Although, this could come in handy. Ow! Shit! What the hell? Hunk, hunk. No one here. You're being... being... pranked. Bulk. Bulk metals. Jog away from that. Uh, 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 uh. Car 
ASMR roleplay, ASMR. It's probably a niche for it. POV, you're the car. Hey, mind if I pop your trunk? You know, over here we call it a boot. It doesn't sound as sexy though. Ah. I think there's a broken window up there. Mind if I take a look at the boot? If only I could reach it. Actually, no, that would be the, uh... Wait, pop the trunk? But it was the front. Wouldn't that be the hood? The trunk is in the back, as is the boot. And that would be the hood or the bonnet. Why'd you call it the trunk? So began the great dumpster heist of 1999. 1999. Isn't that a Prince song? Isn't that from, like, the Batman movie? Oh, wait. Am I stealing, I guess? That was the clue, wasn't it? Taking this. Bins night. It's bins night. Taking the bins out. I'm starting to get tired of your shit, Neva. You... Better be worth it. The bonnet. We call it the bonnet. You ought to be in your bonnet. Which is a hat and also the front of the car. On it like a bonnet. A uh, butterfly necklace, too, right? Is that what's hanging around her neck? Teddy bear. The Neva massacre. Sorry. I need to find this Thomas guy and get the hell out of here. There's a teddy bear back there. Find one in every game. Bar. Hello? Anyone? Thomas? You there? The duckling. Polish Legends of the Dragon of Wawel Hill, Part 4. Why do my teeth fall out? Page 7. Back to school. Page 9. Puzzles and crosswords. You guys like puzzles? Anyone like doing crosswords? Sudoku? Anything like that? You are here. But hotel, lobby, reception, elevators, pool, sauna, day room. <laughs> Next podcast, the bonus episode. Why do my teeth fall out? I'm actually thinking of doing some small, short episodes like that for just for YouTube, and maybe I'll put them on the bonus as well, where it's things like, you know, reading about the marshmallow root and stuff like that, learning little things, just thoughts, ideas, questions that I have. Might entitle that one, Do Marshmallows Grow on Trees? Sinners be damned. Vote for Pedro. Is that a uh, Napoleon Dynamite reference? Uh, Nam cat. Nam, nem cat. I liking my balls? What? 
<laughs> I can't. There's no read option, so we have to just. Is it say I am cat and I liking, liking my balls. Uh, F me. F me. So hot. Okay, so this is the thing. When it's I can't read cursive, right? It's like. Is this just my mind? Because I swear that says F me, I'm hard or so hard. Stay in the lines. And then does that just say shag up there? Depressed. But, uh, you know, maybe I'm, uh, maybe I'm putting... Oh, wait, I can, can I read it? I guess I'll find out when I... Hotel register. Wait, what was that? Uh, Brunon, Helena, Victoria, Boris. Standards. Vivienne, the star of the Bolshoi. Quality time by the lake. Another postcard. But yeah, hopefully you get time to do some of those, explore some things. Does she have one uh, slightly different colored eye? Or was that just the lighting? Which would make sense for the whole split screen vibe if she did, but. Easy, Marianne. It's just a good old fashioned haunted hotel. Calm your ass down and answer the bell. Hello? Hello? The rolling ball gives me uh, American horror story vibes. God, like it's so loud. Hi there. Oh, hi. <laughs> oh God. You startled me. I did, didn't I? You look real scared. <laughs> I'm sadness. Marianne. Sadness. Is that your name? I mean, you seem pretty cheerful to me. Well, it's what I remember. Um, my friends used to call me by a different name. But I don't remember what it was. Your friends. Oh, yeah. I used to have a lot of friends here. Something happened to them? Mm, uh, 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 I don't really want to talk about it. Th that's okay. So, do you live here? All by yourself? <laughs> you wouldn't believe how boring it gets sometimes. I can imagine. This place must have been... Oh, yes. So busy. People coming and going all the time. <laughs> Always someone to play with. Must have been nice. It was. Not anymore. So, tell me, what happened? Uh, I, I remember. 
don't get too close to the ghost. Only a few of them stayed. But they became very sad. Very angry. They might hurt you. <laughs> Thanks. I can take care of myself. Listen, if a ghost says they might hurt you, let's not laugh I it off. I was wondering, let's have you serious. seen Mary Ann? <laughs> yes. Well, would you play with me just for a little while? It, it, it's been so long since I played with anyone. Oh, okay, okay. But I need your help first. Yes. Uh, yes! Uh, anything, Mary Ann! I can for a man. Just be like, hide and seek. You go hide, and then I won't find you. Uh, let me think. Uh, I've heard that name before. Uh, Take your time. Uh, oh, yeah. The second floor. We can look there. Come on. Hurry, oh, wait. Man. I can't go that way. Those stairs only exist in the ghost realm. Cool. Let's see, what's this? The lift? Repower hey. it, maybe? An elevator. Might as well see if it works. Dude, you would have to be crazy to get into a uh, busted old elevator like that. In some rundown place, because if that thing doesn't make it, there is no button you are pushing to get any help. Always take the stairs in an emergency, and absolutely don't take the lift. In some messed up old rundown. Sadness. Resort. I wished I knew her real name. Hold B for an out-of-body experience. Let go. Mm. Gotta move fast. Oh. An out-of-body experience. It's like taking a plunge into nothingness. Stay under for too long and it just pulls you in. Like a little timed... Scavenger hunt. <gasps> I'm fading away, look. That's so cool. Okay. Now get your ghostly ass back and power up that elevator. I'm fading away. <gasps> That to jump down. Hang on, that's not to look down. You are here. What's up, Ashley? What's up, Steph? Oh, wait, now there's a lock there for the other world. Block there for this world, so if I take a little trip. Where am I going to this time? Did the kid run up the wall? What the heck? I got the footprints by me in the other top half. The pitter patter of tiny feet. Slap, 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 slap. Oh. Break. 
camera. Hello. Uh, like there must be another way. So you could go up that step, but where could you go? Could you go back in the lift? Am I powering this back up again? Is that what I was doing? Ah, that was the first floor. Gotcha. I would hate to be stuck in a lift. Like, I'm not super claustrophobic, but I think just the longer you're in somewhere, the more that it creeps up on you, you know? Okay. Now where did she go? A table's made of, uh, looks like bone. These doors do anything? Of the steps. Uh, camera, hello? No? Okay. Huh. What is I'm just saying, for someone who, when the kids said they might hurt you, and she's like, I'll be fine. She jumps a lot. Like, everything scares her. Even mid-conversation, the kid just, you know, moves to another part of the room, and she's like... <gasps> okay. Not getting through here. You've dabbled in the dark arts. What a game to learn that spell with. Uh, I got Holy spells shit. too. I didn't even know I could do that. Spirit shield, baby. Went to Hogwarts. Thank you, Ashley, for the 200 biddies. You learned uh, a spell. Use it wisely. Use it for the powers of good. Odd key. Very dusty, the old spirit realm. A skeleton key, if you will. Are they coming back? Oh god, what is that? Oh, I don't like that view at all. Going first person is terrifying. having to look from left to right and right to left seeing if I uh, see anything. Cello. Yes. I'm working on it. Yes, I know. I just... Yes. I understand. Just give me some time. A few days. You'll get what you want. Yeah. <sighs> That voice. I don't know why, but it gives me shivers. Zucker. 
Zucker on the other end. Looks like the only way. Great. Anything out here? Nothing. This room. Oh. It feels cold. Memories of grief, loneliness. <coughs> Got nothing. Wait, focus. Uh, the spark's too weak to absorb. It's like it's missing something. An old prescription. I know these drugs all too well. Pipofizine Busperoni. Busperoni sounds delicious. Like an Italian restaurant. I'll have the uh, Busperoni. Ursula Ann Rostowski, 1930. Uh, diagnosed with depression, hysteria, insomnia, malnutrition, treated with electroshock, refill six times. Uh, oh, that was their date of birth. 1971, this was. Shit, there are thousands of them. I'm gonna need more energy to get through. Okay, okay. Uh -oh. Sad nursey. <laughs> Meet sadness on the second floor. Ah, today is lockdown itinerary. Meet sadness once again. Have breakfast. Meet sadness. Scheduling loneliness for 4 p.m. in the afternoon. A bit of empty time in my diary. I think I'll schedule in existential dread for about three in the morning. Followed up with a little side dish of ennui. Oh, hang on, what's this? Some objects soak up moments from the past. Just squeeze William in the right spot and let it pour out. All right, Nix, have a good night. Ooh. Ah, sunflower, weary of time. For my favorite nurse. Oh, Mr. Tarkovsky, you shouldn't have. Please, it's the least I can do for all the good work you do around here. Huh. An actual happy memory. So there's more to this place than just doom and gloom. Is it a love story? Because... Different. Ah, sunflower, weary of time. For my favorite nurse. Oh, Mr. Tarkovsky, you shouldn't have. Please, it's the least I can do for all the good work you do around here. A sunflower is a cute flower to give to somebody, actually. It's not too, like, forward. It's not too sh schmaltzy. It's not like too, it's not like a rose, not too romantic. You know, you can be cute with it still. Hey, you're my sunshine. Here's a sunflower. But it's also, like, not too much. It's cute. Oh, shit. This is falling apart. Looks like I'm in for another dive. Dive? Can you not... Is that... skin? Nothing. Can I not crawl along there? I'm getting a little confused with these two sides. Turn it down a smidge whilst we're exploring. Da -da -da. Nerd girl, thank you so much for the seven months. My lucky number. Beautiful. Thank you so much. Sunshine bears. That's very sweet. Get some love in the chat for a seven month three sub. Thank you. Hope you had a great weekend. You like the word ennui? Ennui. Ennui. Oh, hang on. What do we got? Pills. <laughs> Idiot. <laughs> Useless old hag. Why would he care any more than the others? <laughs> 
It's more than grief. More than despair. This letter crushed her spirit. Uh-oh. Do you think this is the lady we just saw in the memory? Let's see what the letter says. An apology. <clears throat> Dear Ursula, you're probably wondering why I would write this letter instead of express expressing myself directly. The reason... I'm afraid is painfully simple. I'm writing this because I'm a coward. Why is it moving on its own? Stop. Haunted. Uh, I couldn't bring myself to look you in the eye and say what is meant to be said, what must be said, because the mere thought of breaking the heart of someone so delicate, so fragile, is simply more than I can bear. Ursula, my dearest Ursula, these past few months have brought joy to my heart. To know you were there for me, to feel our friendship blossom. And yet... That is all it can be. Friendship. It's moving itself. Is it haunted? What is wrong? Friendship. Close. Pure, true, but never more. Try to understand. Being this close, this exposed to someone has never been easy for me. Life and its struggles have left me changed. Demarged. In ways you couldn't possibly comprehend. You deserve someone to hold you. To share life's joys and sorrows with you. How I wish I could be that person. But I'm not. Words cannot express my regret, as I know deep in my heart this marks the end of our friendship. Please, forgive me. Forever your friend, RT. Like, the biggest friend zone. <laughs> the most, the most flowery friend zoning there ever was. Could have just said, it's not you, it's me. Sorry, dear. <laughs> So that was in there. So I'm trying to put something... Wait, did I... Can I, like, pick the pills up? Can I take these? No. They sure did have a way with words in the old days. That's what I've loved about reading those books. So much, like, flowery, descriptive stuff sometimes. Uh, like, I feel like I'm going to put something in there and it's going to recreate the spark, but I need to find it, I guess. Can't go that way. Let's explore. Nothing here. Use my insight, maybe. That is a dead end. Okay, so it's not out here. What did you guys eat today? How's everyone's tum-tums? Nice and full, I hope. feeling a bit off, so I just had uh, a frozen pizza with some pepperoni on it. Never fills me up, though, when it's wheat-free. They're only small as well, so... I start to get a bit hungry later on. Okay, nothing there. We've recreated them here. So they're still standing there. Maybe I can crawl along that area. <laughs> Having lunch right now? Nice. Spinach wrap. Made an omelette. PB and J and T. What kind of tea? Why did she smash the window? If only I had something sharp. Something sharp, you say. Uh, feeling off, so not too much. A low carb thing today. Everything has been shockingly delicious. Low carb, I'm saying. Is that like sort of like half keto? Gonna have eggs for breakfast, almonds and an apple, noodles, veggies, soya sauce. You guys are so healthy. I can't get over there. Okay, I guess I'm like missing an object. Have one walk. Oh yeah, that's right. I can. Wait, who could do that? Maybe she could go along here? Good thinking. I keep forgetting what powers I have. Dude, that would be such a great power. Remote viewing. I don't know what I would use it for. Since I, like, never even leave the house, but... I just want a power. I just want to be special. If you could have any power, guys. Classic question, but... What are we having? Interesting. Empty plant pot. Maybe I'm going to plant something. Let's see. What we have... 
Got some flowers in here. It's bleeding. I knew it was going to happen at some point. Oh, that got me so good. I was so relaxed. Oh, God. Because it's with a controller literally just sitting in my chair. Crossed legs. That threw me back. Oh, dear. Let me just get through this now. Thank you for that resub. Thank you so much. Grab it before you get sucked back. Isn't a razor. It's guilt. Shame. There we go. Something sharp. Okay. That means we can cut through. I like the way she just fades away. It looks amazing. Oh my god, that made me jump so much. Um, Stroke Poke coming in with the 48 months. Uh, anniversary, 48 months, four years, I want to say. Thank you so much for being with us for four years. Hope you're doing awesome. Um, that's amazing. You're amazing. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Appreciate you. I get some anniversary love in the chat. Do I have scare alerts for this? I don't. I don't. I only do that for, um, if it's marked as a scare bet, we'll have the scare alerts when we do horror. I figured this would be more of a uh, story. And with it being third person, I thought I would save the alerts for a proper horror night. Yeah. How wrong I was. Disturbingly satisfying. Disturbingly satisfying. Slice the skin. Oh, hello. Is there a, uh, does it save automatically? I guess it does. Maybe that's when it slows down. Maybe it's saving the game. Uh, but yeah, if you guys could have any special power, what would you have? I don't know if anyone answered because I got scared and then I missed some things. <laughs> I feel like uh, freezing time has to be like number one. That would be That would be really cool. If I could freeze time, like Hiro Nakamura style heroes. <laughs> freeze time. Or teleportation. Top two. You. <laughs> I know you're there. Wish I had the strength to cut you out. <laughs> You don't deserve to exist. You're nothing! <laughs> there have been times when I thought about ending it all. But I was too afraid that a part of me would go on, trapped on the other side. Forever. Yeah, lots of people wanting the teleportation. That, uh... Very popular power. I wonder if that's more common with people that are like, you know, tend to live a bit more on the internet, I guess. Want to hop around. <gasps> the flower. The light of a memory strong enough to defy this place. The dried up sunflower. And then we'll put that in the bars and it'll give us the light, I bet. You want me to read you another one, darling? Oh, look at this mess! Don't worry, I'll clean you up in no time. I'm here for you, my love. This man, Tarkovsky, he ended up as her patient? Oh no. Oh no! That didn't sound good, did it? That sounded a little misery-like. So he, like, broke her heart and wrote that letter and then he ended up as a patient. Oh, where's this going to go, eh? Oh, man, there. Terrible. Wow, these are some cool powers. I like that language one is an interesting one. Ability to fill anything, filling in the blank. That's cool. Wolverine powers, healing powers, yeah. So now, if I go back, I bet I can, uh... 
get the light. I'm enjoying this so far. I, so far, I'm enjoying this so far. I'm enjoying the uh, the pace. Bit of a first slow burn, two hours. Did I get it? Did I get the power? I did. So now I can blast through those moths. I would guess. Be gone. Yeah, I feel like the ability to freeze time, because I never have enough hours. Like, I could freeze time and I could just record, like, the next four podcasts, or I could do all of my editing for the next month. Having more time would be... Mwah, beautiful. Or just, you know, you need some... Is this anything on the wall? Just some graffiti. Need some sleep. Freeze time. Go to sleep for 12 hours and then actually don't miss anything. So good. Be cooler if you could pull other people out as well. Like if I could have that as an extension of the power. If I could freeze time but then also be like, and like release somebody else from time. Welcome to my weird little frozen world. Cut through skin ASMR. Shroom. Do I still have any bulb left? Me bulb. Oh, uh-oh. What? Didn't have enough bulb. I didn't have enough bulb. Oh dear. The no death run is over. Brought us back to here, really? Hello, spirit shared, spirit shared. Oh, my connection just tanked for a second. Sorry if you had a buffer. Would I do it if I aged faster? Oh, that's an interesting little trade-off for a uh, time-freezing thing. God, I would hope that that power came with aging less. How do moths kill? Wouldn't they just eat your clothes? They, uh, they eat away at your dignity. And they frustrate you, just like they did when they ate my carpet recently. Bloody moths. Is that skin? Skin, baby. Mm -hmm. How pretty the fluffy moths were. Oh, was that was that in the everything else? <laughs> I was like working away last night, and then I looked in the everything else, and there was just tons of pictures of like animals and stuff. I was like, I have no idea what's going on in here, and there's way too much text for me to catch up with, but. A lot of, uh, reminded me of that night that we were all posting bear pictures in there. 
different bear species. Mm -mm -mm. Out-of-body experience. What's up, Lucas? How you doing? Oh, speaking of, like, species and stuff, I saw a TikTok today of something called... A... Wait, what was it called? A tree kangaroo? A tree kangaroo that's, like, related to kangaroos, wallabies, and wallaroos. Tree... I think it was a tree kangaroo, something like that, which I'd never seen before. They looked adorable. Wait, where are we going with this out of body experience? Sadness? Hello? <laughs> Looking for the child. Uh, wait, go back, because we're. <sighs> so, wait. This is locked. So, it said out of body experience. So, I think we want to go in here. A child. No. Bring, bring, bring. Mm -hmm. So Australia really does have everything. But what are wallaroos? Wallaroos. I would guess a, uh, a wallaby and a kangaroo. I think they said that. I may have made it up. I don't know. What? Oh, wait, her feet are there. I'm confused as to why I would... Go in there. Can I not? Hang on. What if I? Can I not like open the door somehow? Find the key. Mm -mm -mm. I don't see anything in here though. Thank you, Ginger, for the one hundred biddies. Fading away. Let's see what else is here. Mark them next to Griffins. Oh, I'm back here. Wait. Why did you climb down? Okay. Mm. Oh wait, I didn't mean to do that. I want the power. There we go. Now I have an arm again. Let's see, are the, uh, the moths still out here, the first ones? Which way was it? Oh, they are still here. Bum, 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 bum. Well, that's the thing with those, with the words, with Australian animals, it's hard not to go into the accent like Wallaroo. Like Wallaroo, just when you say it sounds Australian. Wallaroo. You just just tip the end up like it's a question. Ah, oh, Wallaroo. Everything sounds well, Aussie. I don't know where I'm going. Go up. I'm trying to meet sadness on the second floor. Oh, look, things glitching in and out. Steps. Oh, wait. Hang on. Yeah, so... That's where I went last time, and it... They ate me, so maybe... How can I... Oh, wait. Maybe I can hop down as my second half, and then I can, like, appear back up here with the light. Right? Maybe that's how we're going to do this. Mm -hmm. All right, Ellie, have a good evening. So maybe we both don't climb down, just my other half does. And then we'll... <laughs> suck her back up.
scared to look through things here now. So, let's try this. Loved neighbours and home away. Home and away as a kid. There we go. I think I clocked it. Now we should be able to get through those other moths. Clarissa, each day, her man around, numbers. Everybody knows good numbers. With a level understanding. Wolf, 36 months, another anniversary. It is a day. It is a day of anniversary. Here on the 1st of February. Is it still the 1st of February today? Or is it the 2nd? Happy anniversary. Thank you so much. Hope you're doing awesome. Appreciate you. Appreciate you. Hope you had a great weekend. Reclaiming history. Oh my god, so much reading. Fire erupts in the sky. Explosions echo across the wilderness. Sparks rain down on the ruins of Fort Pulaski, a once impenetrable fortress that saw some of the most intense fighting during the 1945 offensive against Hitler's forces. This time, however, it was not bombs or mortar fire that lit up the night sky, but a spectacular display of fireworks that marked the grand opening of the Neva Workers' Resort. The event was attended by the leaders of the party, including the first secretary, who had to say this during the gala. Let this the site let this site of Victoria struggle against the forces of evil become a place of respite for the working people of the Republic in times of peace and prosperity. Liberated in January 1945 by the heroic Red Army, the historical landmark is undergoing renovations and will soon be open to the public at large. Great. All that all that reading for nothing. Manager, huh? Marianne! Oh. <laughs> Sadness. We gotta stop meeting like this. I told you to follow me! Take it easy, sad. This place is huge. It's easy to Imagine get abbreviating, just, just shortening the name okay. Sadness down to sad. I'll stick like a tick. <laughs> <laughs> You're funny. Little saddy. <laughs> This Thomas Rekovich. What? <laughs> All right. Listen, hon. You said you remembered someone named Thomas. Was it Thomas Rekovich? Was what are we sharing? Wait, what are we sharing? Here? I can't scroll up. I. Uh, Anniversaries. Uh, yes. You think he stuck around? I'm not sure. There was an old man here. The kid's what voice acting mean? sounds like quite old. I think. Oh. What was it that had that recently? Yeah, Wasn't it Red Dead 2 where the kid sounded like a 30-year-old? Oh, I don't know. Old men all look the same, all wrinkly and old. Blah. Hey, that's not very nice. <laughs> well, if he's still around, I've got an infestation to report. Marianne! Uh, I feel... Oh, uh, I don't think we should be here. It's okay, Sadness. Look, there... Oh, sorry. There's no controller. one... Oh, my controller's being weird. Here. Sadness? My version. Yeah, sorry, it's my PlayStation controller wire. Where the uh, wire goes in is a bit finicky. Oh, 
old man. Angry looking old man. Old invoices. Outdated documents. Wonder why someone put them out here. Mm -hmm. Oh, birthday months. Are we having some birthdays in February? It's almost complete. The main building turned out better than expected. Now it's just a matter of finishing up the less obvious parts of the resort. God damn, this place is perfect. Remote, peaceful, hidden away from prying eyes. Talk about hiding in plain sight. Took some doing to convince them to let us stay. Luckily, I can be quite persuasive when I need to. Oh yeah, I think I finally got it. I'll call it Neva. Ominous. It all hit me as soon as I entered the room. Anguish. Fear. Longing. Where? Get around here. Oh, big old clock. I could instantly tell there was more to that clock than met the eye. It was a transformer. Ah, uh, locked. happened here my senses jolted as I touched the phone I could tell it had been used recently to call me burn marks broken glass and is that salt salt someone jotted this down recently ah, to do three get up don't turn off alarm clock 315 medication 3.30, double check forest path. 4. Get to hotel, clear out old papers. 5. Get on with research, develop photos if there's time. 7. Double check office. Books? 9. Check up on L. Grand opening, I assume. Hey, is that the first secretary? They must have had some big plans for this place. So he designed this whole place? Who are you, Thomas Rekovich? Rekovich. Okay, he's a bit of insight here. That's locked. Let's see if we can find something to open it with. Double check the desk. Still works. Flashlight. Someone's been used. Too Key. small for the door. Calculator. Do me sums on that. There we go. Nice. That's as far as it goes. Ooh. If I could turn there. back time. Is that Thomas? There. Looks like a passage. This is cool. As I moved the clock hand, I realized it oh, was look, a junction it changes the whole room. between realities. It's rare. But I'd seen it before. Yeah. Ba -dum -bum -bum. All right, hug. Someone tried real hard to keep this place a secret. Wonder what's in here on the other side. Have a look. Some skin. Mm -hmm. So many February bears. Well, look at that. Another bumper month for birthdays.
birthdays. Definitely strange markings on the floor here, but doesn't do anything stepping on it. I don't do anything with this. some light from somewhere, like change the uh, clock again. <sighs> Looks like I'm in for another dive. Oh, gotta check the wiring. I'd hate to get stuck in there. That's a little secret compartment. Some of that spirit juice. I'm so lost without you. I don't know if I can do this. But enough. Get it together. <laughs> Slurp. Okay, now we're powered up. Let's go back to where he first was and see what he was. I'm assuming he was calling us or something. feel something's wrong. It's coming. Yeah. Okay. Oh look, I'm wearing the flashlight. Sorry, I just noticed that. Handy. Okay, now we should be able to So I powered it, but then where is... Le Baton. Anything else for me to do in here? Do I have to change the time again? Monty's your birthday twin, that's cool. Uh, gotta check the wire. I hate to get stuck in there. Ah, there we go. Insight, that's the one. Ah, uh ah. -huh. Okay. Let's get the rest of me in there. Yeah, bubby. Never get used to this. I'm also very happy with the tone of this so far. I'm sure it's building up, but also just that it's not like scare, scare, scare. Like, I'm just enjoying the story. Bit of a Ugh. spooky tale. I hate to think what kind of photos need this much secrecy. Because I really wanted to play it, but didn't really like want a full on horror on a like Monday when I've got a bit of a headache, so I'm pr 
pretty uh, happy with how this has been so far. Don't forget about the red light. Light five seconds, time in each tray three seconds. So remember this from the beginning. Uh, okay. Photo paper. Atmospheric, yeah, that's the word. Okay, I know how this works. I need three liquids to develop the photo. Oh, these are empty, I guess, so I need to find the liquids. That's one. Two more to go. Easy. Nope. Doesn't work. Piece of piece in it. So you want to be a photographer? I could sense something stirring behind <laughs> that symbol. Well, that's promising. Like a gust of wind moving a curtain. It's getting stronger. I can feel it seeping through, creeping into my mind. It wants out. It cannot get out. I won't let it. Even if it means... No. I'll find another way. Suppressing, huh? Suppressing the supernatural. Not sure I like the sound of that. There's a demon in here. <sighs> Hope he's not using it as a textbook. Malev's Maleficerism. Or Hammer of the Witches. Oh, there's the other bottle right there. Okay, that's all of them. Your first step to photo development. This should come in handy. Da, 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 da. We did a Ouija board once, me and my friends. Scary but hilarious. Ouija, Ouija. Probably summoned something. So, if that was in order. Oh, wait, I can put the metal tray here, so we Looks go. Like there's a tray missing. Metal tray. And it was one, two, three. Developer, stop, fixer. Which I guess is the developer, the multi trade. This me. One, two, three. What the hell? It is us. So thirsty. Who's there? It's awful. Dude, the slide scene in it what? was like the best part what of the that film. What the fuck is this? Just like that, they totally lifted that from it. Oh my god, is it like a giant bug? Hello? Are you alright? Get the loss. 
wasted. Go the other way, go the other way, go the other way. Run! Oh dear. Camera angles. I could have done with a little second to get my bearings there, game. Come on now. Please. Drop me in not knowing what direction. Mothman. Run! I thought you didn't want me to look at you, sir. I'm leaving. Oh, you're chasing me naked? That's awful. Who's this American psycho? Oh, that's awful. No, don't. You wear my skin. No! Ah! Wait, that was I wasn't supposed to get caught there, but you were just waiting for me. <laughs> God, is there? There's not a lot that could be more terrifying than someone being like, "Let me wear your skin," while I was chasing you. Wait. Don't go! Oh god. Don't leave me here. Alone! Naked! It's just like his. Ugh! His nest. It's all skin everywhere. Let me saw you all. Oh god! No! Oh, yeah. Dodged. Get off, moths. It all ends in me. Not a fan of light, huh? Fucking figures. Why? They're a moth, though. They love the light. They love it. Charged up, ready to go. Yeah. Uh. Ooh, sneaking. Yeah, cameras are rough in the old survival Ooh. horror games, aren't they? Get stuck. Should be able to protect myself. What's up, cat? Where are you, dude? Just like the others. You don't care. <laughs> Ah, uh, skin suit. What a thing to call someone. Kind of really reminds me of uh, Faceless Void from Dota 2. The head.
to the other way. Patience. It's a game of patience. I don't want to be a skin suit. Oh god. No. Oh god, am I hiding behind something? I can't tell. Oh no. <laughs> I was already full power, but it doesn't hurt. Oh, like some more petrified skeletons. All we need after playing the forest again. People frozen in time. God, I hope this is enough. Also, now we're like fully in this world, I wonder what the real world is looking like right now. I feel like this is the first time we've been like this not split screen. Oh god. What's gonna happen? Most people spend their whole lives seeing only a fraction of our reality. Lucky them. I mean, isn't that scientific fact that we can only see, like, less than 2% or something? Through what our eyeballs are equipped for? I have spent my whole life looking beyond the edges of our reality. Even as a child, I saw things that would break a grown man. Eventually, I grew into it. It became my normal. But that thing, it was anything but normal. I've never encountered anything like this. This ravenous. I felt lost. I came to Neva looking for answers, and all I got was more questions. What was that monster? Who was Thomas? And what did he want from me? Marianne! Wake up, please. Marianne! <gasps> oh. Oh. I woke up with icy water in my veins. I wanted nothing but to get out of there. To just get up and run until my legs give out, until my lungs collapse. But I knew I couldn't. It wouldn't have solved anything. And besides, sadness needed my help. Are oh, you at sadness? 
be someone there. Merry and happy. You're okay. Sadness? Is that you? Are you okay? What was that thing? Hello? Find! Richard! Richard? No, Sadness. The man I'm looking for is named Thomas. Who's Richard? He's on the day room. Day room? Find a way into the day room. Alright, the search for Dick. Are you trying to show me the way? Mm, oh, wait, hang on. Fuck. Fuck. Betters. Good old Uncle Dicky. Thick ghost, thank you for the biddies. Got nothing. Find a tool or something. Ghostly guide. Oh, this music's so good. The soundtrack so far. Awesome. I just want to stand here and listen to it. Super cool. I wonder if it's the same person. I remember Observer having a pretty dope soundtrack as well. Family time. Holidays in the country. First Thomas, then Richard. Before I knew it, I was looking for a bunch of strangers. At least Sadness was still with me. In a way. You've always got sadness, if nothing else in this world. Ah, at least I got Miss Sadness, you know. Not completely numb. Is that? Oh god, it's everywhere. Jam. People died here. Slow down. It's fascinating stuff like that. I mean, my one of my favorite things thinking about is how, you know, some of us have a voice in our heads and other people don't. And some of us can picture things in our heads and others don't. Can't see images. Try and picture a red apple in your mind. How much can you picture it? You know, is it a fuzzy red sh circle shape? Is it a full... Well, I mean, I'll picture the whole fruit bowl for you. I don't know if somebody eating it, but so it's kind of crazy to me that when people can't see things. Like, I can just full on put a dream in my head. This is giving me Chernobyl vibes more things. Chernobyl! Oh, I need to watch that show. You look up saying how good it is. Thank you, Ginger, for 100 biddies.
Let's see what this is over here. Let me be frank. Right, this frank. case is problematic. My superiors want it to go away. I want it to go away. You can see how your statement complicates that? Comrade? I... Yes, I understand. Some things don't just go away. They stick. They echo. Which, uh, I saw a TikTok yesterday that was saying people don't have dialogue in their dreams. Like, it's a rare thing. Uh, it's rare to be able to read in your dreams and rare to have dialogue. And I was like, I read in my dreams all the time and have conversations. Like, what? Does anyone not? Because I watched it and a lot of the comments were people saying... I have combos. Like, of course there's combos in my dreams. What do you mean? I wasn't sure if that was a thing or not. The nurse. She did it. She killed them all. It was like something possessed her. Is that really what you want us to put on record? It's what I saw. Why? Mm -hmm. But the reading thing for sure, because I have like dreams where I'm streaming and I'm reading chat, so I know that I have dreams where I can read. A nightmare. Let's see what do we have here. Cover your nose. Try not to look at him. The sooner we're done, the sooner we can get out of this place. Ah, uh, definitely. Didn't need to feel that, she said. I didn't realize it would skip it if I exit out. Smell of bodies, I guess. Postcard. Someday. Good old Frank. Francis, what am I supposed to do with you? Once Neva shut down, you begged me to keep you on, said you needed time to sort things out, said you could be useful. But now I know you're just using me as an excuse. Like those letters you keep writing. I know you've never sent a single goddamn one. Family's doing good, Mr. Rekovich. I'll probably go home this next spring, summer at the latest. Who are you kidding, Frank? Hell, as long as you're here, I can at least keep an eye on you. Make sure you don't get hammered and pass out in a snowdrift. Guess it's the least I can do, good old Frank. Too scared to live, too stubborn to die. Sometimes I feel guilty using you like this, but then I remember I need all the help I can get. Like shit. 
Be kind to yourself. Are those bolt cutters? Might be useful. If only I could reach them. Hmm. If only. Use the force, Marianne. Let's see how we're gonna get those. Sadness. Whoa. Sadness? How did you? Ah, shit. Bad luck. Office. Thank you so much, Caroline, for the triple six. Oh, I was meant to go that way. God damn it, let me go around. Oh. Thank you so much. Evil's in the chat. What is this? Swimming pool area. Locker rooms. It is a swimming pool, isn't it? some kids here. Oh, well. Now you want me to go down? Hello? <laughs> Anyone? Ghosties. Uh-oh. What kind of ghost is this? Not in the pool. God, golden, please. Alright, can we get a change of water in here, please? Goodness me. <laughs> Thank you so much for the triple four. Oh, a little dash and... You're not. Here I come. That voice. Oh, is it sadness? Oh, where did that go? Come on, hurry. We're going to find out how sadness died. Oh, it's up there. Thank you so much for the bees. A bit loud. Turn that down. <gasps> Bear. What? No. It, it's fine. I, I'm sure they're here somewhere. No, no. Bernard wouldn't do that. He's nice. Oh, she's Talk about her like that. Shut up, Bernard. An inspirational quote for the bear. <laughs> Opportunities don't often come along, so when they do, you have to grab them. 
you know, from the book of Never Give Up. For whoever needs it today, grab it. Seize the opportunity. Where did they go this way? Shh. Suddenly all these toys everywhere. Illustration The Mirror. You still here? Something else? I'm still hovering there. What did you leave now? They went. Oh, they're still there. Okay. We have to uh, combine or something. It looked back at me. Oh. How do I look in my inventory? Let's go back to the mirror now. As I got closer to the mirror, I felt a slight tug in my pocket. I could tell there was more to that figurine than just carved wood. <laughs> All right, Calfi, have a good appointment. I can feel it calling out to me. Upside down. It was the first time that it ever happened. I touched the mirror and crossed over to the other side. Oh, look, you can see myself here, look. What the hell is this place? Another dimension. Wow! 
What's happening? No! No, please, Mommy! Oh, oh God. What happened to you? Wait. I know you. You were that boy. Bernard, was it? What is this? Like a spider's web almost, still tied up. He was trapped there, just like I was. I knew his name, but somehow that wasn't enough to send him away. It was like a part of him was missing. The cat. There's a cat shape there, but the cat's on the other side of the mirror with me. I don't have it here. Send Bernard's soul away. Look at all the uh, faces in the walls. All these people, they weren't just killed. Their spirits were ripped apart, broken beyond repair. Hog. Maybe I can find the one Bernard's missing. I need to look around. Got that? No. A spirit well. I could use some of that energy. Yeah, they like their uh, faces and walls, don't they? That cat figurine was the key. I can't pass through without it. Hmm. Didn't I cut this before? There we go. Slice. Bugs. This was yours, wasn't it, Bernard? It's about time you got it back. His face. Which way was he? Hey, that's where those bolt cutters are. Oh. So close, and yet so in a different reality. Interesting. Let's focus on Bernard, I guess. Bernard. Bernard. I'm sorry you had to go through all this. Is Bernard it's and Bernard the same name, just pronounced difference. differently? Like Bernard. Graham and Graham. Thank you. There it is. Huh. It kind of looks like the one I used to get through the mirror. Feels like it, too. Get the bolt cutters. No. Oh! Ah. Stay with me! Lost it. Okay, how do I get this? Stay with me. Oh, shit, shit, shit. Please, this work. Okay, we can go back through here. want those bolt cutters though. Hmm. How are we going to do that if it's in a different world? Maybe we have to go back in there, but let's take a little look. Oh. No. No. Where is she? Your breath. 
Oh my god, stay where you are. What are you doing? Oh no. I use my, I can I was like, where is he? I can see it with my insight. That's awful. travel between worlds. There was no escaping it. Examination room. Okay, you can stand up now. There you go. Great. Another mirror. Ring, ring. Hello. New details have emerged. The situation may be more complicated than we expected. No time to explain. You'll get the full report once I get back. Just leave it to me, comrade. Very meticulous of you, comrade. <sighs> locked. Everything's locked in this place. Oh no, there's more of them. What has it done to you? All peoples. Just like Bernard. No names, no faces, no way to help them. Send away the souls of other victims. Follow these trails, I guess. Nursey. Okay, don't want to go back through yet, do we? Nothing here. Ah. At least not in this world. But in this one. There we go. Is this where I originally popped back in? Doesn't look like it. Sandy world. Is it a hotel or hospital? This is a resort, so it's a hotel as part of a wider resort, sort of like a center parks or something, you know, like where they have hotels and swimming pools and sports centers and Kind of thing. Oh my god, I'm trying to drink, I swear if he appears now. Done for. Ah. 
Hold your breath. Goodness me. <laughs> I was like, I'm sure I put my heating off. I suddenly felt very warm during that, but... I think it might have been the spooks. Let me just see. Let's actually take a quick uh, one minute just so I can refill my water because I'm a bit dehydrated today. Stretch your legs, go to the bathroom. And we'll be back in 30 seconds. If you're new to the stream, hit the follow button. We have YouTube and everything else as well if you want. If you guys aren't already subscribed to the new Bedtime Story podcast, I will be right back. Give me one second. I probably should have paused the game. What if it, like, had some system where he could just randomly appear and sneak up behind me? Was he whispering to you guys? Just go be right back, and he's like, Let me try you on! Ooh, my little skin suit! Water. Oh. She was a ballerina? I had some coffee this weekend. Got so strong. This room has Guy written all over it. In big sloppy letters. How, how, how very sexist. Hmm? Nice card. Was Vivienne one of your stars? Rosario of the Stars. Some signed pictures. What is that? Cigarettes? Oh, wait. I wanted to see what the whispers were. There. That's her. Oh, we had a peephole into her room. Someone couldn't even let her have her privacy. Morphe Pete. Vivienne? Just Vivienne? No. Probably just a stage name. The artist formerly known as Vivienne. Maybe the nurse or something? Although it was advertising name, the resort. It's know. everywhere. But that wasn't the real you. Yeah. This wasn't her room. I'm guessing her manager's? And then if we go into her room through here... It should be back here, wouldn't it? Locked. Uh... 
this is where it happened. Uh, of all the places. You? What are you? No! Get out! Ah! No! Uh, no, not pleasant. Not pleasant at all. None of this is pleasant. Hey, did you guys ever see those things? Don't this reminds me of looking at that face. You know those like, uh, I don't know what they're called. They're like a contraption made of like little needles, but they're not sharp and you like can put your hand or your face into them and it leaves a little imprint. That's what that reminds me of. God, did you guys ever see those? There's gotta be something. You can leave like a, you can make a shape in it. So we've got a mask, so we can free one. And it would feel so weird to put your face in it. They were always, like, really cold. Uh, is that all that's through this mirror? Let's just double check. Yeah, they retain the form, the shape. With the, uh, the old needles. My granddad had one, so whenever I was there I would do that. Okay. Let's find out who you really were, Vivian. Check the phone. Huh. The page was torn out. I can't make out the numbers. This is 5896 then, eh? Anonymous Jira with 100 biddies, thank you. Bring, bring, bring. Or a rude finger, yeah. I guess one of these names belongs to your true self. But which one is it? Alien Tori. Oh, hang on, what's that? Partial numbers. One of these must have meant something to her. Got the option to combine there. Can I combine it on the page? There. A bunch of numbers, some would say. But I sensed there was a lot more to them. I had a tingling. Oh my god, Ellie! I thought you were. No, no, I'm... I'm really happy to hear from you. Why didn't you call sooner? You did? But... Eugene, that slippery son of a bitch. Aw, how dare you? Ellie. She was very special to her. You don't need to be a Eugene, to Eugene's it. past. So... If you were talking to Ellie, that means... Tori... It's you. The real you. That's your name. Okay. It made sense, really. A name is more than what everyone calls you. It's what you feel yourself to be. It's called 3D Pin Art Impression. Interesting. What does it look like? Can I pull this out? What is that? Oh, cool different numbers. Hello? Oh, hey. Are they asleep? It's fine. I know you're busy. I'm busy too. Yeah, it's tomorrow. No. The big day. Yep. Thanks. I'll see you home. Kiss them for me, okay? Nah. Not exactly a hotbed of passion. What was that top one? George's house. The moths. I missed the moths because I was so busy yesterday and I was recording the uh, the episode, the podcast episode and stuff. I missed that whole moth conversation in the Discord. Yes. Yes, Mother, I know. I'm doing my best. I saw it, and I meant to what? go back, and I got distracted. No, I... Well, what about my hard work? It's not always about you. Don't call me Victoria. You know I hate that. Victoria. That was her given name. But not the real one. Victoria. And then this place. Hello? Yes, this is... 
Vivian. Room 347? I want to make a complaint. There was a man here. Yes, from the hotel staff. Frankly, I think I smelled vodka on his breath. Frank, he... you say? What? That was the chief of staff? Uh, you know what? Never mind. <laughs> Thank you. Well, it's a stressful job, I guess. Mm-hmm. Drinking so much water today. Okay, are we done in here? Oh, can I open this now? <laughs> Creek? Also, you know, I'm glad that this game has been more explory and story based than combat because this format, this genre, combat in it is usually so annoying. Like the old Resident Evils, they worked at the time, but when you go back to them, like holding a gun and like aiming up and down and only having three points of being able to aim, they are such a pain for combat. So I'm kind of glad that so far it's just been running, to be honest. Because running makes things scarier anyway. Avoiding and running in horror games, as soon as you can fight back, it takes out like a great, great deal of the fear element from the experience. Once you're playing a horror and you've got like a health bar and a weapon, it's kind of... It's not the same as the instant grab and goodbye. I'm not gonna lie, it felt good, putting that curse of mine to good use. Moments like that used to keep me going. Now, I'm not sure anymore. Oh, the mirror. Mirror, mirror. On the wall. Who is the creepiest of them all? Trying to keep track of where I've been. What am I? What's my? What's my mission here? Get the bolt cutters. Find a way into the day room. Send away the souls of the other victims. Okay. Track here. There's those bolt cutters again. Gotta be a way to reach them. So maybe there's another mirror. Let's pop through onto the other side. Okay, so that's the dead end. It won't let me slip back through there. Dun 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 dun. There's a mirror right here, wasn't there? What are these one? Should the bolt cutters be right here? Oh wait, maybe I can use this mask now to dispel one of these. It's okay. You can be free now. Tori. Thank you. Thank you. Oh, is Tori short for Victoria? I kind of thought about that. Okay. Are people called Tori actually one called down. Victoria? One to go. Better get to it. Never occurs to me sometimes the shortening of names. One spirit free. And then we can go up here. What are you? Stop! Ah! Ah! This is it. This is where he died. Nostrils. Okay. I still need his name. If only I could see the other side of this place. If only. 
Well, these look like little places to hide, don't they? Uh, the shortening of William to Bill. 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 Yeah, what's like? There was one that confused me recently. Maybe it was uh, Chuck from Charles. Is that one? Bill Compton. Some sort of a conference room. Phone. Richard to Dick, yeah. I gotta go. The voting's about to start. You know what they say. If you're early, you're on time. No, I mean right now. I can hear them gathering across the hallway. Yeah, yeah, I'll let you know how it went. That voice. <laughs> that's the guy. Oh, Hank from Henry. Yeah, that's another interesting one. Wait, right, now I'm back in this room. For a name. An attendance list. I'll bet the name I'm looking for is here on this page. But which one is it? Jan, Nicholas, Halina, Danuta, Christina, Arthur, Boris. Just say them all. Number seven. Number five. Number nine. Oh, what do we have here? Cast Astra. I can't believe they sat me across from Boris. I don't care whose nephew he is. He's just a sexist pig for all I care. And late, as always. What a pig. Theodore to Teddy, that's a cute one. The name Teddy is very cute. Of course, being a teddy bear. So wait, now we check this. Across from Boris. So Boris is in number nine. Boris. That's the guy he was talking about. Seat number nine. Mm-hmm. Harry, short for Harold. Her boss named Larry. We call him Larold. No, that's not it. Not that one either. Oh no, not that way, no. This is it. The man I'm looking for. This is where he died. I tell you what though, that was a good game. That was a good game that had good fun combat as well. In this style, Evil Within. It was a good time. Number four. Good story too. That's it. Nicholas. Nicholas. Okay, Nick. Let's get you up. Nicky. Alright, let's go stick the mask on. Somewhere to hide? Somewhere to hide, please? No! Slipped on. Let's see, where did it throw me back to? Okay, Nick. There we go. Not too far. Nice. Where am I going to hide then? Let me see first.
Son, Marianne. So gonna chase us around that room in a second. Or Shazza and Bazza. Where was this body? Face on, there we go. You've earned it, Nicholas. Nicholas. Thank you, madam. You did it, Marianne. Sent them away. To a better place, I hope. No. Ah, now we can get the bolts. Here. Maybe now in an, another world these will work. Unless it's maybe a light thing. No. Well, now I used my power as well. Great. Let's see what that changed in here. What's that on the table? A quiet girl. Mr. Rekovic is being unreasonable, to put it mildly. I am a nurse, not a nanny. I understand he needs someone to keep an eye on her, but I have my hands full as it is, even putting aside all of my other duties. That's poor Mr. Tarkovsky to take care of. Still, I tried to do my best. At least the girl's quiet. Keeps to herself, mostly. Likes talking to her imaginary friends, but I figure it's quite normal for someone her age. Sometimes I can hear her playing out full conversations, and I'd swear it sounds like two people talking. She really is gifted. I guess it runs in the family. Interesting. I'm thinking sadness is uh, possibly our mother? Maybe? 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 Yes! Fucking finally! Calm down. Time to get back to the day room. Unless it's us, unless the timeline matches up somehow. Let's go back to the day room. This place. This oh. is where it started. Wanna have a look? The massacre. Hello, my love. It's your favorite nurse. Are you in there? Even the you left. Oh my gosh. I hope so. Cause I want you to feel She killed him everything. first. The nurse. A woman scorned. It got to her first. But why? The demon got in. And it killed that guy, but and I've then she just went on a rampage. Like that, before. that thing had been there. It was where it made its first kill. Where it tasted death. And liked it. My poor, poor Mr. Tarkovsky. Whatever happened to you, the tests came back. No signs of brain trauma or dementia. And still, I look into your sad, empty eyes. And I have this awful feeling like there's no one looking back. Don't worry, my love. I'll take care of you. No matter what. I'll make sure you're as happy as can be. 450 milligrams of venlafaxacin. That'll cheer you up. Just smacked out of his brain. Oh, so now we can open the doors. back. 
snip. Hmm. So worth it. I love you, bolt cutters. I love you too. Very dark. Snap. Snap. <gasps> Snap. Kinda it goes through the effort of having you press the back buttons Cuts. together three times for realism oh, and then just has the bloody chain fade away. Or a movie star. Like, in a movie you don't use your real name for. Yeah. Spy name it is. <gasps> snap, snap, snap. Good band name, Bolt Cutter Romance. Which way? Okay, Marianne. Let's see what Sadness wanted me to see. I hope she's all right. And can't remember the way. Camera angle is changing and being creepy. What was that? Oh, hang on. No, read it. What was that? I keep seeing it in my dreams, the other place. Dust and death. As far as the eye can see, a feeling of nothingness tearing at my soul. I wake up choking, feeling the dust burning through my lungs. I beg for it to stop. He says there's no helping it. Then again, he would say that, wouldn't he? Dusty, you say? how we described the other world. Ah, this door. Here we go. The back. The old dust. All right. Here we go. It's a long little detour for some bolt cutters. Hugs. That thing almost got me. What the hell is it? Um, it came from shame. From helplessness. Wait, how would this from be our mum if she rage. died as a kid? She didn't get to grow up and have a baby. I'm so dumb. Rage. It's like anger. <laughs> but maybe it's connected yeah. to us somehow. She's our family. That's what Once I'm going with. Got out, a long lost stop. sister. It ain't all of them, Marianne. All of my friends. Your friends. Uh, I'm the only one left. It's it's okay, Sadness. I'm here now. No, no. It, it'll eat you too. It, just like the others. I won't let it hurt you. I promise. Okay. That's like stock thunder there. That used to be my follow sound. That exact thunderclap. I recognize it exactly. Is he one of your friends? Uh, no. But he was smart. Maybe he could help you. He was smart. Wait, is he? Uh, a bad thing happened to him. I remember he, he became hollow. Like a puppet. He... I don't want to see him. What? Why not? What, what do you remember? No. Don't tell them. It, it's don't okay. tell anyone. You don't have to tell me. 
But you should still come with me so that I can keep you safe. No! No, Marianne! The sadness! Don't ever again! Why did you... bring me here? It was then I realized there was something she wanted me to see with my own eyes. Richard? Are you there? Dickie. Hello, Dickie. Some chairs, there's the door. Oh, what's this? Horses. A horse girl's been here. Gather round, children. I want you to meet Lilian. She's going to be joining our painting class. Uh, why can't I play with my friends, Uncle Richard? Your it friends. is Uncle Dickie. Oh, Lilianne, I, I promised your father you would spend some time with the other children. Friends. Huh? Bum, bum, bum. Seeing both realms. Yeah, I love how they've done it. Pretty cool. I spent a few years trying to steer him in the right direction, trying to make him see the depth of his potential. He kept refusing, claiming that he was no painter and that he saw our little get-togethers as therapy rather than artistic expression. Eventually, I wore him down. He agreed to enter the university, but on the condition that it would be his chosen field, and so he started on his way to becoming an architect. At first, I was rather skeptical, thinking that he was throwing away greatness for mere competence, but deep inside, I was glad to be the only one to bring his visions to life. I was glad... I guess I was glad to be the only one to bring his visions to life. And then he met her. Our painting sessions became few and far between. He no longer needed my help in dealing with inner demons. Interesting. Painting demons. There was that William Blake book earlier, wasn't there? A very special boy. I remember the first time I met him, working a simple factory job. Still more a boy than a man, wide-eyed, constantly looking over his shoulder like a scared animal. His parents had died in the Warsaw Uprising. Of what he'd gone through in the years that followed, he did not want to speak, and I never pressed him. But it soon became clear he had no one else in the world. I could immediately tell that despite his young age, he had seen things that no one his age should. I could immediately tell he was special. Can I hear her? I can see the subtitle. There's a sense of loneliness coming from it. It feels incomplete. Find something to pop in there then. Method to madness. It became a habit of ours. We'd sit down, sketchbook at the ready, and then he'd close his eyes and start talking, describing all the things he saw in his mind's eye, the horror and the splendor of worlds beyond our own. What started out as an innocent exercise in imagination became a bottomless well of inspiration. My hand wouldn't dare rest, sketching furiously as he described the indescribable. For a while, I wondered why he was so eager to share his visions with me. To him, they seemed to be a burden, a source of great pain and distress. But finally, I understood. He sought to share them with someone who saw them as a source of beauty rather than mad. I much prefer the uh, the palette on like the the other world, how it's a bit brighter, less gloomy. Let's see what do we have? Oh, 
chair. A sheet of music. Well, at least part of it. I want to play some songs. you think he would be better off in a nursing home? What about his family? Richard doesn't have any family. Oh, the poor man. It's like he's somewhere else. We were close once, you know. I mean, not that close, but... I mean, not... not All right. I'm not one to I'll brag or anything, him. but... Hollow like a puppet. Isn't that what sadness said? Hmm. We were close once. He's like, I don't care. Just take care of him. Uh, locked. Didn't ask. What's this one? A well of inspiration. Thomas, I've been stunned by the depth and complexity of his imagination, mesmerized by the surreal dreamscapes his mind would weave, the way he described them, with every minute detail. It was as if he'd actually witnessed all of it, as if something or someone pulled the veil and allowed him a peek beyond the edges of our reality. An angel? A demon? Is there a difference? Oh, I know it didn't matter to me, as his visions came alive on my canvas. Some would say I used the boy to fuel my waning creativity, but how could I not? To let this unique perspective, this bottomless well of inspiration, go to waste. That would be an unforgivable sin. So wait, Thomas? I'm losing track of the names here. So Richard is the guy in the wheelchair who turned the nurse down, right? That's all I know. The nurse is, you know, sad nurse, nurse, bad nurse, whatever they're calling her, bad nurse, see? And so I guess Thomas is the kid. And Thomas is who called us here, right? Because he said it's, I'm Thomas, didn't he? Thomas. The beginning. And that's the way we came in, okay. Do 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 do. Ursula, was that the nurse's name? I think you're right. On the letter, yeah. When he uh, friend zoned her. Ursula. And then we have a door here, but. I don't think I can reverse outer body to go through there. Maybe there's a clock I can wind back or something. It looks like that sort of thing. So I need something to stick in the globe. Right? Can I? That globe. There's a sense of loneliness. I can't rotate this, can I? It feels incomplete. Oh wait, here. But how do I? I don't have any power. To dispel those. Oh wait, here we go. You're looking for something. Uh, so I can combine this. What is it? Like a? It's got a nose on it. Is that a nose? Is this a like? Uh, a choker made out of somebody's face? What am I looking at here? Bit weird. And here, what do we have? See at least. <gasps> I'm fading away. 
must be something here. Like it's glowing there, but I can't, nothing happens. Oh wait, maybe it goes in the, uh, the globe. It's lonely, it misses its nose. It's the equator, so... Positioning everything. Wait, go back. Like, that's the mouth, right? And we bring the eyes up. It doesn't really seem to be listening to me. Let's keep moving the eyes. Now move the nose. No, no move the nose down. What are you doing? There we go. Juicy. Moist. Oh, look at that. China. It's, uh... What's that over there? It down, it's quite loud. There you go. Did that just didn't that open something? No. Where are Globes, they were so fun to spin. Wouldn't it be fun sometime to just spin a globe and stop it with your finger and do the old, we're going here. Go on an adventure. If I was a, tra if I was a travel YouTuber, that's what I would do. That would be my gimmick. Would be that I spin the globe and wherever it says we're going, that's where we're going. That'd be the thing. What am I trying to reveal here? What am I... thought I did it the first time. Oh. Use, use it. Hello? Where is this going to? This is in the room with me. That's the doorway. Is it there? Got a collectible taken away. Took our friend away. Oh, that's all that's there, I think. Da, 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 da. Oh, somebody already did it with darts for road trips. Oh, it's a better idea. Travel the globe. And it looks like I can go out the balcony if I leave it there, right? Oh, there we go. I just didn't position it right. Still. A, a dead idea for the world in the state that it's in, so... Maybe in a couple of years. Ah. Gonna have to play the music. Oh, hang on. Ah, I need to... Collect another piece. Missing some music here. Oh, 
I love this melody. It reminds me of my childhood. Uh, at least the good parts of it. But the bad parts. They're Sadness. Aren't they? You're a very smart girl, Lily. Lily. You know that, don't you? You're special. Her voice. Is that sadness? Mm-hmm. <laughs> special. Wasn't didn't the um the skin guy, wasn't he like calling us special when he was chasing us? Am I imagining that when he was like, oh, special girl. But I'm boom a Google Earth Explore. Some people do what's that game? I've never played it. Geo is it GeoGuessr where you have to guess where you are in the world? How, how do people even do that? I mean, that would probably be hilarious, me trying to do that, but I would get pretty frustrated quite quickly, I think. I love this melody. It reminds me of my childhood. Uh, be like, there's a road? Where has but roads? The bad parts. Okay, so that's the same. Why can't I... Wasn't there, like, something here on the table? Or maybe it was just to get that memory. Mm-hmm. Huh. Number seven. And a picture. Visit the bears. A new community member every episode of the travels. That's what I quite like with on the podcast. I can see where in the world people listen from and like how many. And then like TikTok as well breaks it down. You can even look per TikTok like who, what countries watched it. And on YouTube as well. It's always interesting when you're like, oh, look, somebody watched in, you know, Indonesia, like 10%. Or this one popped off in South Korea. Like it's quite interesting. It was the one of, uh, like, my one of my original ones that did well with, when I uh, hit Flurry with a net. Oh, my God. It all makes sense now. Abuse. And um, that, like, got shared heavily in South Korea after it did well. And, like, all of my comments were just in Korean for, like, a week. But it hasn't done that since. I have even stuff that has done 3 million. They've never... It's never gone, like, regional. Like, maybe they stopped doing that. But it used to be if you did well in your own region, it would then swap out to other regions. Because generally TikTok will, at first, just share it to people in your own area. Like, your country. Come on, Richard. You were always there when I needed you. Let me return the favor. Ah, uh, I don't know, Thomas. Oh, what about my work? The university? Rich, I know they kicked you out. I'm guessing you oh, finally you managed actual to piss bears, off not the right bear community. Yeah. Stay with us, old friend. Do it for me. For them. So, he brought him here. Tarkovsky. Oh. Wonder who he meant by them. Be like my own travel wildlife show. I did want to hunt monsters when I was a teen. I could have been on National Geographic Monster Hunters. Mm -hmm. Oh, what have we got here? Good night, Stroke. That's how you found him? Yes. He was just lying there. He, uh... He... he, he reckon? He fell. I, I'm sorry. He was a friend. I just... Uh, need a moment. That's not true, Thomas. You thought he... deserved it. He... he tripped. Why is all of his skin missing? And why are you wearing it on your face? <laughs> I tripped. 
Oh, music. That should be all the pieces of the score now. What kind of monsters? Like the ones that, you know, like, go and try and find Nessie, try and find Maloke Mabembe, look for the old Chupacabra there, you know? <laughs> and I would now just totally do it as Hippo, so... I should just do it as a POV. Just do all the voices from behind the camera. Here we are, deep in the jungles of Africa, looking for the uh, notorious Moloki Mavembe. There's a dinosaur down deep in here somewhere. Ancient and undiscovered. Ah, don't like that. I want to leave. No, we're going to brave and step on forward. Why am I even here? I don't want to do this. Oh, why can't I go in? Oh, right, I've closed this off to myself now. Okay. Um, so wait, the sheet music. Right, back to the piano. Sorry, I went off in my own little... My own little world. It's, it's just like this. I'm lately, it exists in my mind. I go there when I want. Pop this on here. Now I got some power, and then I can get the uh, rid of those moths, can't I? Beautiful. Catching the cryptid. The cryptoids. We still love cryptozoology. There's the sound again. Legit makes me feel like I just got a follow because it was my follow sound for about a year. And then it used to be like a ten, $10 donation sound was that thunder. It's so funny. It appears in so many games and films. Oh! Ah! Ah! I wasn't looking at the other world! Oh no! Moths! Oh god. Bubble, bubble, bubble. I was just looking at the top screen, and then I heard her go... Ah. Mm -hmm. There we go. What's that out there? A giant hand. Look. Creepy. Morph not wanting to do AC today because sick. Morph still constantly doing voices. I know. I can't escape it. Are we going out there? I like the little clues of the, you know, this kind of, like, dusty air to show you where to go so you're not just walking around lost. And you're like, oh, there's something over there. And it's nice and clear. Uncle Richard, my arms are getting tired. You've been drawing me for hours. Almost done. You know, Lily, you remind me of someone. A girl I knew when I was very young. Did you love her? Gossip. Yes. With a young, innocent love, free of the ferocity of adult lives. Richard. I'm getting a weird vibe from him. You think? There's grief, sorrow, and something else. Mm -hmm. da -da 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 -da. Uh, back out we go. Got an ad on Instagram for UK University showing you an online cryptozoology course. Considered it. Oh, I think I had like bear clothing recently. Something on Insta. Like, people say that, don't they? That Insta's advertising algorithm or AI or whatever is very, very good. It's showing you things that you it'll, thinks you'll want or that you'll end up buying. The whole shopping side of it, they push it very heavily, don't they? Luckily, I'm rarely on there. Uh, I was finished. They had let me go. Me, Richard Tarkovsky, whose works were recognized across the continent, whose imagination, as they said, knew no bounds, whose very name became synonymous with fine art. All of that meant nothing to these soulless bureaucrats. To them, I was a liability, the source of dangerous liberal ideas. I felt betrayed, empty. I needed to get out, away from the hollow sickness of the city. But most of all, I needed a friend. 
and so I sought him out. I knew his wife had died some months earlier. At the time, I thought it best not to interfere with his grieving, and so now I feared he'd hold it against me for not being there when he needed me the most. Instead, he offered me a home. Okay. Is around here. Something over here. Zoom. A weird doll. Oh, a very strange looking doll, actually. Aren't you a bit old to be playing with dolls? Here, I bought it especially for you. Oh, a ribbon? It's beautiful. Thank you, Uncle Richard. Here, let me... Um, on the other hand, why don't you do it yourself? Uh, what was that? It's like something stirred inside him. Fluttered over here. Ah, gross. The ribbon. <laughs> what is he doing? He better not be sniffing it or something super weird here. Hang on. Come on, give us memory. No! I didn't mean to... Oh, God! What have I done? It feels... cold. What have you done? Maybe he killed her, because that's why she didn't want to go see him. She remembered, didn't she? Oh, what's happening here? Like, it changes the camera angle as well every time we... Do a new thing, it's so cool. This is not what I expected from this game, actually. It's been much more of like a sort of a walking sim, really, with little bits in between, but I love a walking I story have sim. I've never so. felt anything so desperate. It was calling out to me, it wanted to show me something. <gasps> That would have been really creepy if there was someone behind her there, like, pushing the wheelchair. Jesus. Thanks for the follow. God fucking damn it! I need to be sure. There's gotta be something around here. You want what? Fuck! decided to let me out of my cage. He's like us. And only when you need my help. 
Oh, this feels like really Bly Manor as well, where he has his other you know side. I'm not in the mood. Just tell me what you see. Come on. Come on. Yes. I can feel it. Okay. It's around here somewhere. Oh, well, it's real fucking specific. Hey, I'm trying to help here. Well, you know, sometimes I wonder. Well, it doesn't make it easier when you keep me in the dark for so long. Oh, Christ. Thanks for that, by the way. <laughs> Hell of a way to treat your soulmate. God damn it! There's nothing here! There is. Really? I'm never wrong about these things. You know that. Well, oh, screw this. I should have known better than to listen to you. Wait. What? There. There. Where? What? <laughs> His weird stubble. Dude, they can never get facial hair right in games. Just have him be clean shaven, give him the tash and have him have nothing else. It looks so strange on his cheek. This is it. Okay. Okay. Why is facial hair so hot? Like the hair on his head looks fine. Like look, that looks terrible. What? Right? You building tension? Grab the fucking thing! Do you shut up? It's strange. be some technical thing. It's her. It's her. No. No, 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 no. Page. After page. It's like he's obsessed. What is it? What have I done? We couldn't. So maybe this is the guy that invited him to stay with him? I let him mm. into my home. He was like a father to me. How could he do this to her? Fucking bastard! How could he? I told you we couldn't trust anyone but ourselves. Keep it together. Think. What do we do now? We wait. And when he comes back? Oh, just... Whoa, 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 whoa. Easy, Tiger. Remember what's at stake here. Just let me do what... I do. You better do it fast. Because if you don't... I love this. What a great change of... Uh, kill him. Environment there for a, for a minute. A little different beat. I'm gonna play as this guy now. Oh no. Thomas. Now we're in the other guy's head. I wasn't expecting you. Is uh, everything all right, my friend? Did you do it, friend? Did I? What? My daughter. My 13 year old daughter. I entrusted her to you. Thomas. Did you do it? I... I don't... I found the sketchbook. Forced myself to look through it. Cover to cover. Every single fucking page! Music so good. I didn't hurt her, Richard. 
Thomas, please. Tell me I'm wrong, Richard. Tell me, and I'll let you go. I... It wasn't me. Thomas, you have to understand. There's a sting inside of me. Shut up. You have to believe me. I wanted to die. I'll make it quick. Thomas. I wouldn't. I'm so sorry. She's my daughter! I never wanted any of this. I, I, I should never have come here. But you did. No one should here. Knowing what she means to me. Thomas, I, I swear I'll go away. You'll never. Wait. Not here. No. Let me out. Let me out. Let me in. Damn, dude. That scene was intense. That was amazing. music and everything, the voice acting. So good. So we got a power to go into people's heads, this guy? his badass alter ego soulmate that he has rocking around inside him. Yeah, we're gonna be this guy. Cool. Man, what a change. Alright, Richard. This is your world. Show me what you're hiding. So this guy can go into the upside down, but almost like in a in a slightly different way to how Marianne does it. Pretty interesting. I was already enjoying the game, but consider me about doubly intrigued now. Is this where it started, Richard? The place that broke you? Made you what you are? Mm -hmm. Parry and attack! Oh, we're getting some combat as this guy as well. Correct. Just a shield again. Cool. There's something here. Doesn't even flinch. It awoke on that day when she came to it. It took over. Made itself at home. So yeah, this is the guy who called us, I guess, whether from the previous world or something. Thomas. Thomas. Right at the beginning. Loss. Mm. Hatred. Grief. This place reeks of them. Something terrible happened here. It changed Richard forever. No! What the hell? Leave her alone! Everyone has really nice eyes in this other world. Mac Bearded, thank you so much for the raid. What were you streaming tonight? Let us know. Thank Richard you very much. I hope you had an amazing stream. The sum of all his demons. Whoa! There you go. Into the home. Let's take a look. Father's knife, Daddy. Could be useful. Richard, your father forgot his knife. You'd better go and bring it to him. <sighs> All right, I'll play along. For now. So Richard's uh, childhood home. It was good. What were you streaming? Father, you forgot your knife. Huh. Thank you, Richard. You know what? Why don't you keep it? This environment. But it's your lucky knife. 
And now it's yours. You'll need it. I'm leaving tomorrow. Look at that picture with what? the face no. scrubbed. Bit of everything, cake bashful guys, Fortnite. Nice, sounds like a fun night. Oh. But where are you going? The army is heading out west, and I'll be going with them. But no, I don't want you to go. It's getting further and further away. I don't want to go either, son. But sometimes what we want isn't what's important. Do you understand? I... When will you come back? Take care of your mother, Richard. You're the man of the house now. It's very, uh, blue by the, uh, shifting rooms like that. The environments, trippy environments that shift with you in it. Like, Layers of Fear did that a lot, didn't it? Did they do both Layers of Fear? Did they do one and two? I would assume so. An observer had a lot of it too, actually. Honestly, playing this and this being so good and uh, the way that they've done things, God, it makes me want to replay. Observer. The sweat of your brow. Little pipe. Anyone? Uh, you guys have a little smoker pipe like this? Have a little. On it. I watched the dig on Netflix over the weekend. And Ray Fiennes has a pipe in that. I was like, that looks like fun. Little pipey booze. I guess they're out of fashion now. But you know what? I bet they come back someday. I bet somebody brings them back. Sherlock style. I could, I could see the pipe making a comeback. Why doesn't somebody make a vape in the shape of a pipe like that? You're way cooler than the metal sticks that people have. And you shall fall. A lot of people where you live do. Whereabouts are you in the world? Till you return to the earth from which you came. <clears throat> Your grandpa did smoke a pipe. Yeah, I'm pretty sure my granddad had a pipe like back in the day. I can remember being a kid now, like memory unlocked of uh, messing around. Anyone have a bubble pipe? I guess they don't have those anymore either, or uh, candy cigarettes, do they? When I was growing up, they had bubble pipes and candy cigarettes. Those tentacles are guarding something. We need to get rid of them. Mm -hmm. What's up, Ava? Welcome back. Spirit Blast. Oh, I need to get some power from somewhere. Fire, maybe? What do we have here? Dun, 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 dun. Dude, I, I saw a TikTok that was like proper memory unlocked, which was sitting in assembly looking at the lights. And <laughs> if you didn't go, I don't know if this was also in American schools, this might just be for the UK people who are up late, but sitting in assembly and looking at the lights that you used to have in the gym or the assembly room and working out who would die if the lights fell. Did anyone else do that? Because I saw this video saying that yesterday and I was like, oh my god, that's so true. Like, total memory unlocked on that one. Wait, how do I spirit blast if I can't? I must have missed something here. And then I saw one that was, this is hard to show you without a cam, I guess, but if you know, if you put your uh, fingers in your ears and then like push in, in, in and out really quickly and it going like, and it was like <laughs> saying as a kid doing that and just brought back this memory. It's so funny when people unlock old memories like that. Wait, is there something here? Looks like there's something there. Maybe if I use my investigation whilst looking here. There we go. For dust you are, and to dust you will return. Da 
UK kids are dark. Listen, it's a grim place to grow up. Okay. We see that. And then maybe we burn it. You reckon? Cut this out. Hello, as government representative of the Polish Republic, I wish to offer my deepest sympathy and regret in regards to the passing of Thaddeus Tarkovsky, he whose loss he whose loss you mourn died in the noblest of causes. His country will be forever grateful for the sacrifice he made. Say, so, Daddy never came Grief. home. Anger. I can work with that. Okay, he likes the uh, negative emotions. She gets her power from happy things. Yeah. They're like the light and the dark, aren't they? In his phone call, he said the... Did he say the light's nearly gone? Hey, Richard. That's why he called her. Bet you can't catch me. What? Hey, wait up! But, uh, was Richard... Was Richard the one... Who turned down the nurse then? Who was who ended up in the wheelchair? Was it Richard? Come on, Slowpoke. Maybe a result of what Thomas did to him. Richard, okay. Who turned down the nurse and then I guess we smacked seven bells out of him and he ends up in the wheelchair and then she you know tortures him and then i guess maybe the demon passed from richard to her somehow here i'll try to bring more tomorrow and then she killed Thank everyone you, richard. i can't tell you how much this means to me a little picnic Go. Like this guy's design. Da -da -da -da. It's funny though, funny the things that we think as kids and that is like a shared thought or experience and as strange as those thoughts are that we all have them. It's interesting. all so similar in some ways. This is a nice change of environment. Am I going? I just went back in a circle, didn't I? Okay. I was enjoying the sky. The ear thing? Well, the ear thing works best when it's like you're in a loud environment, isn't it? And as you, like, cut the outside noise in and out. Come on, Richard. My arms are getting tired. Almost done. That's, uh... She said the same thing to him. Anything I can do with that? No. Little jog, little jog, light jog. in the secret garden. That was the picnic. 
Let's see. Very quiet here. But what is it? It's um, something very important. Promise me you'll keep it safe. Keep it safe, keep it safe. The secret garden. I feel like I've watched a really old version of that. Some sickly boy in a room. <laughs> Coughing away. This way, silly. Not allowed to see the sunlight or something. Oh, that goes back that way. <clears throat> yeah, the book. The books are oh. actually in Rose. public domain. It's on the list of books that we can read if we need to or want to. Over here! Shout out, old bull. There you are! I was afraid you'd get lost in there. Look at this view. I've been waiting here for ages. I was starting to I'll get have him walk because the jog you. looks silly. Hey! Ha! Hey, you see that? Storm's coming. Hmm. It's a big one. We should probably go. Same spot tomorrow? I'll be there. What happened? <sighs> Made you crazy. Cute, Richard. Real cute. So, where do we go from here? Creepy old mansion. Horror classic. Very Resident Evil, this main room. Who ordered the spaghetti? Get some energy and blast through there, I should think. Is he? He's he's someone who can take care of us. But I can take care. Try not to think about I that wall Dad next I'll time you guys have you. noodles, okay? I know, honey, and he would be so proud of you. But sometimes a brave heart is just not enough. I need you to do something for me. Are you talking to you? Stuff here, how do I grab it? I said, come here! Oh, Alright, calm down. What the hell? Where? Where? I need you to bring me that thing. You know which one. Yeah, real specific. Got nothing. Uh, the pipe, I would guess. Can I grab the other thing anyway? No? Okay, I'll try it. Is he gonna shout at me if I get it wrong? Real man chooses tobacco anyhow. What's this? Jewelry case. Can be combined. Anything else in here? Hey! You put that down, you little thief! You hear me? Stupid little brat. Real fucking charmer, that one. Is this his dad? Uh, <laughs> the beer bottle? Uh, how about a, how about a nice uh, picture? Yes. Surely you want your wedding photo, not the beer, father. 
You want to look at you in memo. There you go. What the hell's taking so long? Oh, you little shit. Oh, sorry. I'll teach you some respect. Sorry, sorry, father. Ooh. Grateful little fuck! Get the hell away from me! Gladly. Boom. See, so yeah, Emma's have a lovely dinner. And McBearded, good night as well. Thank you again. Uh, taking in all that negative, sad energy. An emotional vampire. Get away from me, you God, I actually can't wait for no. uh, no. Bloodlines 2 no. as well, but I know that's been like delayed Mommy. so heavily now. Tentaclays. It's always tentaclays. scream sounds like I hate the sound of like whenever somebody gives birth in a film or something as well it's like ah oh, I really like can't take it or, or a baby crying as well is just like one of the worst sounds ever it's like a dream sequence in one of the old Max Payne games where you're like in a maze and the whole time there's like a baby crying and it's just like can I get through this as quick as possible It's like the future of their friendship, Richard, I guess. Where are you? I know it's dark. Hello? Yeah, don't they say a cat's meow is designed to mimic a baby's cry? Like that's not how cats actually talk, but they're, they're, what they do is to sort of mimic that thing for like human attention. Because their actual sound is a little, that little chirruping sound that they do, isn't it? Which just shows you how smart cats are, really, and totally just taking Richard, advantage of us. Out. Don't worry. I'll keep you safe. I'll keep you safe. Funny how different meows will have different effects though, because Obi's meow, I'll just melt and be like, oh, what do you want? You want some food? Okay, and I'll spoil him. And then Cosmo's meow, I'm just like, shut up. It's so, <laughs> you're so annoying. <laughs> it's the worst. Some cats meows, dude. does it all the time. Meow, 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 meow. It's like, what do you want? I fed you. I fed you wet. I put dry in there. There's fresh water. I've changed your toilet. What do you want? What do you want? Ryan Gosling dot gif. Meow, meow, meow. 
It's like you want cuddles? It's like, get in my lap. It's like, I don't understand. Okay, Richard. I get the picture. Doesn't change a goddamn thing. Get the hell away from me. So what was happening there? Did he kill his friend? Because she, like, wanted to leave or what? I don't get the picture there. Mommy? What's going on? Listen to me, Richard. Listen to my every word. Some men will come to our house tonight. Ooh, ominous. But why? What do they want? Shh, it's okay. I told them to come. I'm gonna kill him. Craney Sicario vibes on this soundtrack right here. The hell is this? No! Stay away from me! Just stay back! Get away from me, you bastards! No! No! Let go of me! No, please don't! So that was the stepdad then. That's who... So his real dad went off to fight in the war, and this must be somebody who came after his dad died and then she had him killed for obviously being a dick any son of Poland who collaborates with the oppressor collaborator so she like told all these people that he's like a traitor or something Denounces or otherwise acts against his compatriots. First house on the left, right next to the river with the old cherry tree, hiding in the pantry. They're hiding them in the pantry under the floorboards. They let them out sometimes to stretch later in the day. Some of them go out sometimes looking for food. Best to come at night. It's like they were hiding soldiers or refugees or something. It's an unforgivable crime against the motherland. Which is oh, swiftly punish. Could not happen to a nicer guy. I like how he just drinks that in. He's like, ooh, a death. Delicious. Say, everyone's kind of getting their just desserts in this game so far, aren't they? Karma. This is getting tedious. Rose, where are you? I'm sorry. Yeah, because that was the Star of David back there, right? Is that what it's called? So she reported that to get rid of him, basically. Set him up, but... Makes sense. Please! I need you! Mushrooms! Ah!
hard to feel sorry for this kid, just saying. <laughs> I'm with this guy, and he's like, boo hoo, Richard. Wait, can we not squeeze through there? Very stranger things. Look at that. What do they call that big thing that's always in the distance from like one and the last one? No. You're not Rose? You know, so much of this has been very sort of uh, walky around and slow paced. This could have been a very, very interesting VR experience, actually. Number of ways they could have gone with this. called Lily as well. Two flowers. So that's why it awoke something in him. Just clocked that, that she was called Rose and the girl was called Lily. He's got an arm like how Marianne has. Like that's on her thing too. Help! Somebody! Please, help! Over here, kid. Please, mister, I need help. The monster, it's after me! Monster, you say? And what does this... Monster look like. Sir, there's no time. Hurry, we have to get out of here. The okay, glasses Richard. over the mask. Why don't you take a moment to catch your breath? Do I know you, mister? Are you one of my stepfather's friends? No, kid. <laughs> I'm not planning on making any friends here. I'm here just for you. No, what? No! Don't come any closer! Don't touch me! I'm sorry, kid. No 
know you tried to run, to hide. Get your hands off me! But as long as you're here, the beast will always find you. Richard. Oh, this is how he fried his mind. It's not how he beat him up, it's this. I've just, sorry, I've just clocked that. This it's is what was happening. Pretty overwhelming at first. Thomas being like me, but. Because they said no sign of any damage or anything in his brain. You. He was just <gasps> gone. And that's what he did to him. Erased his brain. Thomas? Who the hell are you? Beast. Oh. That's what he did. Hunted. Hounded. His whole life Gross. hiding. Hoping they wouldn't find him. I gave him shelter. I gave him purpose. He could have been so much more. Instead, he chose to rot in this godforsaken place. <laughs> You're him, Richard. I am what's left of him. The bleeding wound, the sand drying on the stump, all because of her. Do I know you, Jillian? You smell just like her. Like the girl who suffered because of you? The one you preyed upon? She came to me because she had nowhere else to go. Where was her father? Where were you? Oh, shut up! Stop acting like you ever cared about her! She was the light of my life, the warmth of my soul. Your soul has brought it away. There's barely anything left. No, it's just your sins. I almost feel sorry for you. You're nothing. I am, but I... He ripped me apart. He burned me down and left me in the dark. He's a fiend. A monster. Thomas, what is he? He's the one who butchers the soul, the one who breaks it. But you, yes, I know you. You can set me free. I can feel it. Please, do it. You don't deserve it. You deserve nothing. Nothing. Do you hear me? Then give it to me. Please. Do not exist. That's all I want. So be it. Do you think she'll ever forgive me? Will you? So grim looking. I'm not your judge. I'm just the fairy man. Be gone. Richard. I don't know why we're doing this thing any favors, but get rid of it, I guess. It's the red house. gripping us. This time, it wasn't just a feeling, it was a memory. Had I been here before? Was I a part of the puzzle? This man, Thomas, was he a part of my own past?
story's been so good so far. And then something clicked. That girl. It's me. <laughs> but it looks like it was taken here at Neva. Feel it out there, like it's calling out to me. There, in the woods. Whoa! Well, that was very cool. Free Richard from his demons, crossed out. Nice. Off to the red house we go. So wait, she's not sadness though. Sadness is someone else. Where did that picture come from? Mm -mm -mm. There we go. What time is it actually? I think we may. Yeah, let's save the rest of this for probably tomorrow, I think, because I'm very much into the story and want to see what happens. But also I don't want to force it all through in one sitting and just end up doing a really long one so i think we shall save it for tomorrow 